more calls for the head of the VA to step aside and let someone else take over the embattled department. Jerry Bolander has the details. The number three House Republican, Congressman Kevin McCarthy, says Secretary Eric Shinseki should step aside, calling the VA crisis a national embarrassment. Shinseki told reporters here at the Capitol he plans to stay on the job, even as Speaker John Boehner says he's moving closer to calling for Shinseki to step down. This is awful stuff. And somebody ought to be held accountable for it. Meanwhile, there's a move in the Senate to give the VA secretary greater authority to remove officials who don't do their jobs. It's already been approved by the House. Jerry Bodlander, Capitol Hill. An older method of execution is being discussed in Tennessee as a replacement for the supply of lethal injection drugs, which remains unknown to the public. Eric Shelzig explains. The legislature has passed laws to make the supply or the ingredients even of lethal injections secret, and no death penalty has reached a crucial point to which we know whether the state has it or not. That's one of the areas that the critics of the law have raised in that how would the state prove that they really couldn't get their hands on these drugs. O.J. Simpson, the disgraced former football star who was acquitted of killing his wife almost 20 years ago, is trying to get out of a Nevada prison by going to the Nevada Supreme Court with a supersized appeal of his 2007 armed robbery conviction. Ken Ritter has the details. The court hasn't accepted it because it's a little bit too long. The lawyers had a 14,000 word limit and submitted just under 20,000 words. Simpson attorney Patricia Palm tells us that it ran long because she and lawyers Ozzie Fumo and Tom Pataro needed space to respond in detail to the judge's denial ruling last November. And Boko Haram, the Nigerian terrorist group responsible for kidnapping 300 Nigerian schoolgirls last month, is now facing sanctions from the United Nations. Warren Levinson has more. The United States says the U.N. Security Council has added Boko Haram to its list of al-Qaeda-linked organizations. That subjects the terror group, which has kidnapped 276 schoolgirls in Nigeria, to a range of U.N. sanctions. Boko Haram, whose name means Western education is sinful, has targeted mosques, churches, and government buildings. Its five-year campaign against the Nigerian government has claimed thousands of lives, including 1,500 this year. 62 groups and 213 individuals on the list are subject to travel bans, assets, freezes and an arms embargo. Warren Levinson, New York. And the man who once led America's armed forces as defense secretary is now the new president of the Boy Scouts of America. Tim McGuire reports on Bob Gates' new job. Robert Gates headed the Pentagon for both President George W. Bush and President Obama. As president of the Boy Scouts of America, he takes over an organization that has seen a decline in membership. Last year, the National Council voted to allow openly gay boys to belong while continuing to exclude openly gay adult leaders. Some conservative groups have left scouting, but the expulsion of a gay Seattle area scoutmaster has gay rights groups urging other. It's the Onion Radio News. A family of five is found alive in the suburbs. This is Doyle Redland reporting. The Holzapple family, long feared missing or spiritually dead, was found alive in the Chicago suburb of Buffalo Grove today, somehow managing to survive in the hostile environment for more than eight years. Rescuers discovered the five-person clan after a survey plane spotted a signal fire from a barbecue grill. To protect themselves from the elements during their long ordeal, the Holzapples fashioned a three-bedroom ranch-style lean-to with brick facing and white aluminum siding. Paramedic Mary Gill was first on the scene. They were all suffering from severe cultural malnutrition. The Holes apples have been returned to civilization for now, though trips to the Art Institute of Chicago and a nice Peruvian restaurant intended to reacquaint them with urban living have been met with confusion and resistance. Doyle Redland for The Onion Radio News, online at theonion.com. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. It's a live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Brian. And Stephanie. You can give us a call and talk about what is whatever's on your mind. That's what we do here on Free Talk Live. Again, the number, 855-450-3733. 
unlike most shows. We, in fact, are live on the weekends. In fact, matter of fact, we're we're live seven days a week. This show has been live for years, every night from 7 to 10 Eastern time. So that's our commitment to you. We uh, take it very seriously. Obviously, we're going to fail at some point in the future, but let's hope it's something tragic. Yeah. <laughs> It'll have to be pretty serious, I think. <laughs> it, it will. I mean, there's so much equipment in here, like to, you know, redundant equipment to make sure we're on somewhere. <laughs> so the, one of the reasons we're live uh, seven nights a week is because something's happening all the time. And uh, something tragic happened out in, uh, was it Santa Barbara? Yeah, yeah, this is pretty much Hollywood. Um, and it's, uh, a, well, the article I have is from Slate, uh, but of course it's in reference to Elliot Roger, who is the son of a... Not not a famous director by any stretch, but son of a director. Some people consider that to be pretty important. Um, and he, I'm sure it's important if you're in the movie industry. It means nothing to me. Right, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, and he killed uh, six six women. and All women? Yeah. No, there or were three. Was... He killed his three roommates, too. He, right. So he went on a shooting spree at a college campus that he went to and killed some women, but then he also had some male roommates that he stabbed, apparently, with a knife. Yeah, right. It's quiet. Yeah, absolutely. So, anyway, there's there's a lot of interesting response coming out of this because, of course, he wrote that 141-page manifesto. Uh, and some YouTube videos. Yeah, also. you know, claiming to to hate women and there or whichever. And there's this uh, an article from Slate that's titled The Pickup Artist Community's Predictable Horrible Response to a Mass Murder. And so this is really an article looking into what exactly, you know, what, how are some people, how are different groups responding to this? Now, I mean, just to recap some of the things that this guy, uh, you know, that Elliot Roger had said, uh, Roger called himself the perfect guy and the supreme gentleman who's been overlooked by women who prefer obnoxious brutes. Then he, then he also said in like pretty close to that, that he wanted to put all women in concentration camps and starve them to death and watch them die from a high tower. Oh, yeah. 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 And, and but he doesn't understand why they don't like him. Right. And, and so this is clearly there's something wrong with, with his perception in this circumstance because um, re- wealthy uh, you know, wealthy young men that are reasonably good looking. I mean, he's got both eyes, a nose and a mouth um, right. and, and uh, you know, a, a nice BMW. Right. Don't get overlooked in Hollywood particular. I mean, like this, this is the most vapid uh, place that I've ever been. Sure. And, mm-hmm. the, you know, I haven't heard too many conversations where women are talking about, uh, you know, what kind of cars guys drive on a regular basis. But I sat, uh, a friend of mine and I went to Los Angeles and we sat, it might have been Ian, I can't remember um, who it was. I've been to Los Angeles a few times. And we sat at a sushi restaurant and I just listened to these women talk about what cars the males sh- they knew drove. Mm-hmm. And obviously, I don't know every woman in L.A., but, I, you know, it, it's, it was the smallest of samples that I got to hear, and I'd never heard a conversation like that before. Mm-hmm. Um, People it, are really are good looking there. I'll, yeah, say, yeah. I'll say that. It, like, it is noticeable. And it, it seems to go together. So, uh, I mean, it seems unlikely that a uh, young, a wealthy young man, the son of a uh, director there, uh, couldn't get some level of it with a very nice car, couldn't get some level of attention unless he was strange. And he, he felt really, uh, I mean, you, you said it last night, Mark, that you noticed that he seemed really entitled. Yeah. Like he thought that since he had these $300 sunglasses and a nice car that he should be getting sex from women or attention or something. And, and I suspect he doesn't just want, I mean, he, he got attention from women, I'm sure, he just didn't get the attention from the women he wanted it from, you know, and that I get it. It's it's not a fun feeling. I um, for those who listen to the show on a regular basis, I spent eight and a half years in prison and that, you know, I got out in 1998 and I didn't get a lot of attention from women for many months after I got out because I was strange and it, you know, just. I'd spent eight and a half years in a different place. Yeah, you're kind of reassimilating, maybe. Yeah, and yeah. you know, I didn't have that sort of innate understanding of how to deal with women in you know the community I was in. And I think it's it's true for people that travel around the world too. I think if you ask foreign guys around the world, that they'll say, yeah, it, it gets a little lonely sometimes. Um, I just don't <laughs> fit in, and. Uh, you know, I think that's that. And for for whatever reason, this guy didn't fit in. And I suspect it's, you know, I'm I'm guessing I, autism spectrum would be my guess. I Something. But 
I think people can smell desperation and whether yeah. it's whether it's in business, whether they're trying to get a job or whether they're trying to st- start a relationship with somebody or be friends. Desperation is just not attractive, you know, and people can sense it. And if you have it, it's hard to hide it, you know, <laughs> so, yeah. unless you genuinely don't feel desperate. Right. And you, I mean, you could just put it aside. Um, I, you know, I was thinking about this guy. What's his name, Brian? Elliot Rogers. Elliot Rogers. Uh, tonight when I was coming to the studio, I saw a man that I see on a relatively regular basis here in Keene, New Hampshire. He uh, He's blind. He's walking with a cane. Um, he does that little, you know, cane, blind guy cane walk thing where he t- taps the cane back and forth. He's 380 pounds if he's a pound. Mm-hmm. Um, he is, you know, he's a big fat guy with a, that's blind. Mm-hmm. You know, this guy's probably not getting any either. And he somehow he, you know, lives his life and he's relatively happy about that from what I, you know, the, the brief conversations I've had with him. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you know, I mean. It's you're just on this clod of mud for a limited time and you get up all wrapped up in uh, acquiring sex or money or any of these sort of things we're told that we're supposed to have. And it makes the trip really unpleasant, um, in my opinion. If you can let the more you can let those things go, the better the trip is. Yeah, there is something I think to be said for focusing on what you have rather than what you don't have. You know, because when you get into a mindset of real of scarcity, sometimes it's never enough. Yeah, I think that I I, um, I can't remember what exactly it is, but it was one of these songs uh, that I heard by some female singer. But uh, one of the, the key to happiness is want what you got. Mm. You know, <laughs> that's clever. Yeah, that's <laughs> because it's really easy to want the things you don't have. Yeah, yeah. I get I, to watch it in my son constantly. He's uh, just wants new Legos, not the Legos he has, the new Legos he wants. So, yeah. you know, it it starts early. To some extent, we're programmed for that. Don't oh, yeah. you think? Like, yeah, absolutely. If you didn't, if you didn't have some of it, then I don't think the trip would be much fun either. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, you've right. got to. <laughs> If you if you want everything that you've got, then you will possess nothing. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we certainly we are programmed to some degree to want more. I mean, there's studies out there that said kids, you know, can recognize symbols for McDonald's and Nike before they can, you know, read words and all, and they know exactly what it is, mm. uh, things like that. So yeah, I mean, you got to wonder about that. I mean, especially this guy was so young, 22 years old. Uh, you know, I mean, how, how much of life could you have really figured out by that point? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but just really, it sounded like really petulant, really... Oh, God. Uh, about- oh, yeah. It's difficult to look at this guy as... Uh, it's, it's difficult to have the sympathy for this guy. Mm-hmm. Not that I'm looking for sympathy for it. I always hate how we in the media make rock stars out of killers. Mm-hmm. Sure. But I don't know how not to do it. I want to avoid this dude in the future. Obviously, this particular one's dead, and I don't know what we can do about it, but I think you kind of have to look at the manifestos of these people that are they've gotten so desperate that they're willing to do such horrible things. Um, uh, you know, what is, it, what is there to learn from the victims? Sometimes there's a story there. Yeah. Well, I, I think it's important to look into the language being used, and that's a lot of what this article is going to talk about, uh, in particular saying, you know, uh, he wanted to enter the hottest sorority house in the area and slaughter every single spoiled, stuck-up blonde slut I see inside there. And then to all those girls I've desired, I've desired so much, he says, "You will finally see that I am the superior one, the true alpha male." And he's got this impression that somehow women go for, um, you know, he's got these uh, women. He has that women don't like the nice guy thing going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you could hear that narrative uh, just played he's out. Spoiled and spoiled and he says. stuck up. Right. And obviously right. if they were really sluts, maybe they'd be with him. Right. He's not yeah. the nice guy. Whoa, <laughs> no. here's a little news flash yeah, every, for you, dude. It's like everything he says contradicts reality. Yeah. But I think we can learn from it, like you said, Brian. What yeah. are your thoughts on this guy? I mean, maybe we've got it all wrong. 855-453-7333. Free Talk Live. Gold Bond presents Shaquille O'Neal. So I'm hanging out with my Gold Bond buddies, and they're like, Shaq, Shaq, great job with the Gold Bond powder spray. People love it. So I'm soaking in the good vibes, kicking off my shoes. Next thing I know, they're coming out with a new foot powder spray. Boom. Shaq strikes again. Gold Bond No Mess Powder Spray cools and refreshes your body, and new Gold Bond Foot Powder Spray has two times the odor-absorbing powders to do the same to your feet. Stay cool with Gold Bond. 
Summer is almost here, which means it's time to get out and play. And at the Guitar Center Memorial Day Sale, you'll find some of our lowest prices of the year on the best gear throughout the store. And with deals like Toka Djembe drums for only 19 bucks, or Squire Stratocaster electric guitars for only 89 bucks, or a digital reference mic for just 10 bucks, the only question is, where will you play? Guitar Center's Memorial Day Sale, now through Monday, in-store and online. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now. 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial. 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855 Three. That's 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind. We've been talking about this situation out in Santa Barbara where this uh, young gentleman, what's his name? Elliot Roger. I don't know why I called him a gentleman, this uh, killer. Oh, he called himself a gentleman. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> um, this, this guy killed, what, seven people, eight people? We're not uh, sure. Six. Six, six people? Six it's people. A, it's hard to get the uh, body count. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it's it's a horrifying story. Um, let me tell you real quick about blockchain.info. Blockchain.info is the single best place to go online and get a Bitcoin wallet. A Bitcoin wallet is essentially an account in which you can keep your Bitcoins. And blockchain makes it easy. There's no no terms of service, no, uh, no cost to it. Just go to blockchain.info, click wallet. It's across the top there. And create your own wallet. I've got 
a few there. <laughs> I think it's great. <laughs> Again, blockchain.info. What I think is great about it, besides the um, the encryption, so they never possess your bitcoins, because right. I think that's probably what's most important. But a lot of people don't think about that. What I find most convenient is I can access it on my smartphone or my laptop or my desktop or whatever, a tablet, any just you know cross platform. It, 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 I even did a transaction on my Chromebook with blockchain.info. It was awesome. Yeah, I, I think if you can get a screen, you can pretty much do a transaction. Yeah, it was great. Blockchain.info. All right, Brian, so uh, let's go back to this, uh, this story. Yeah, uh, so we were just at the at the end of the, the last segment. We were talking about the language that, that Elliot was using. And this article from Slate, and take Slate for what you will, I know some people would pretty much just toss it out of hand saying, oh, it's a liberal rag. You know, they uh, pay money for great money for journalism. I don't um, discount anybody that uh, sure. you know that attempts to report um, facts, uh, and I think Slate does a pretty good job of that. I do too. Yeah, it's yeah. a liberal rag, but don't. But that doesn't mean that I I subs- uh, uh, ascribe to conservative rags either. Yeah, exactly. So Rogers' language is familiar to anyone who spent time exploring the pickup artist or men's rights activist communities. Hold on, yeah. men's rights activists and pickup artists are the same. Well, they a lot use of cross a lot pollination. Of the same language, okay. for sure. All right. Yeah. Uh, Roger was a nice guy, quote unquote, a man who feels he is entitled to sex based on pro- positive personality traits known only to him, because you only learn those secrets when you're in the uh, the pickup artist community. What secrets are you talking about? Oh, there's a few different ones that they teach, like peacocking, where you wear something kind of flashy. Oh, yeah, to, this is the uh, to put a monocle on thing. Negging. Yeah, yeah. negging is another one. This uh, is to, uh, you know. Give someone a backhanded compliment. Yeah, backhanded <laughs> compliment. And, yeah, as yeah. Those, yeah. Those. essentially they teach that, look, women are too stupid to know that they want to have sex with you, so you have to get their attention. You have and to then, basically manipulate them into yeah, doing it with certain words. And you think the way that they think about women is interesting, too, because I think this article says that often people pickup artists will refer to women that they want to have sex with as a target Mm -hmm. and then they'll give them a rating usually it'll be hb which means hot babe or b word and then they'll say followed by a number one through ten usually that would it wouldn't be a hot one if it was unless it was above a seven maybe but okay i don't know i always wonder about this rating from one to ten thing um it just doesn't it it it's very difficult right subjective Um, it's it's, well i mean (laughs) But, I mean, are we talking about in a certain age group? Is it ratings from 1 to 10 in a search, certain age group? Are we excluding, like, people in comas, uh, people in wheelchairs? <laughs> I mean, where do we start with uh, these things? I mean, Well, I'd- the point is to get the hottest woman you can possibly get, and then you can brag about it and show all your other guy friends that you're the alpha male because you got the HB10 and you scored the target. Well, I think that uh, I don't think there's much that's ever going to stop males and females from wanting, uh, for whatever reason, the most attractive person that they can be with. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think that there's you can refer to them as uh, in a language that makes it obvious that you understand they're a person, though, and not just an object, right? Indeed, um, you know. Indeed, I think that uh, what these guys are doing is trying to rack up as many uh, um, you know sexual encounters as possible, and I can see why they want to do that. I get it, um, but. I, you know, it, it, it's, it's out of fashion at this point. It's um, very adversarial. You know, like I, I've i spent some time looking into this and not that I've ever been a part of the community, but I like women too. And so I'm interested in knowing like how to talk to women and how to get them to be interested in me. And so I've looked into it, but I wouldn't be interested in applying these techniques to any kind of relationship with a woman because I just don't think it would be productive. You know, it, it really sets up... It's, it seems like it sets up a very adversarial relationship between men and women. It's like it, it, this, the fundamental points are that men want to sleep with as many women as possible. Women want a commitment. And so you have to kind of trick the women into thinking that you're going to give them a commitment and so that they'll give you what you want. And then somebody wins and somebody loses in that scenario. And similarly, it's very competitive within the men, as far as I understand. Like a lot of men who are in p- the pickup artist community and then leave it will say, yeah, like they claim to support you in your journey and they claim to be about personal development. But really, it's these guys are kind of like competing with each other sure to see are. who can be the alpha male. Right. I would there's only room for a few alpha if, males. If there's a if there's a few guys in a bar looking and there's a few HB 10s in the bar. Yeah, um, they you know, want her for themselves. Whatever. Right? It's going to be uh, it's going to be on and there's not going to be any support there. Um, I, I, I think that the wise like it certainly makes sense that there's young guys that want to have sex with as many women as possible. I get it. Um, 
and I think women are socialized to want the or be, you know like there there's a pressure on them to want the relationship whether or not they in fact do want the relationship is an mm -hmm. entirely different thing um and and so that's it's something one has to work around right yeah um i just think that it's not always like that it's relationships if you're starting a relationship out with the idea that someone's going to win and someone's going to lose and you're trying to be the winner i d i just don't know if that's the most productive way to like take a relationship forward you know and well, i think it, there are reasons why lesbians and bisexual women don't use these techniques because they don't and why I don't is think they're that very because, effective because they're the women too <laughs> okay so <laughs> there's the desire for the techniques we're, we're you're talking about the fundamentals and i you know i get the fundamentals it's the techniques that i have a problem with generally mm -hmm. i don't think these things are very effective yeah um i mean no i think women can tell i mean well okay so i i think i've talked about this on the show before but i've had one experience where i believed that someone was trying to neg me and so i called him out on it i said are you negging me mm -hmm. and he kind of laughed and said oh of course not but who he was <laughs> yeah absolutely i mean i i could go in you know we could talk about like you know the dating world and you know kind of hunting down uh mates and all that stuff you know the the really the, the craziness of all of that and i think it is crazy uh but this guy i mean really was you know a pickup artist and not only was and he wasn't a good one at that either oh, because yeah. what happens later on yeah. yeah is roger was also allegedly a member of pua and that's short for pickup artist puahate.com a website for men who feel they've been tricked by the pickup artist pyramid scheme There's which, a pyramid which, scheme yeah it, which takes <laughs> men's money and promises to teach them how to have sex with women and not just any woman but one who scores at least a seven on the pua decimal rating scale of female attractiveness i, can, I believe i can uh, i can advise men on this uh, already talk to them yeah. You're going to need to go where they are. Mm -hmm. You need to get out of the chair you are currently sitting in <laughs> and go to the place where these gals are, um, whatever whatever it might be. Um, I, every time I go to my son's dance class, I'm just stunned by, man, if I had only known. <laughs> Yoga classes he's, are a great place to be. He's six years dance old. Classes. He's, it's 24 to 1 in his <laughs> dance class. And yeah, obviously there's little, very little tension at this point, but I'm like, God. That's the way to do it. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. There are many things the human body can do very well, but maintaining the proper pH level isn't always one of them. That's where AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops can make a world of difference. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops helps your body do what's natural. Just a few drops a day helps rid your body of harmful waste and acid while promoting health and restoring vibrance and energy. Alkalizing boosts your immune system and can help fight headaches, irritability, cramping, and insomnia. Alkalizing also helps the body fight depression and even bone loss. To learn more more about the importance of alkalizing and how you can find life-changing and vital balance, please visit AlkaVision's brand new website at AlkaVision.com. Same great products, but now easier to use and more informative than ever before. To get your very own plasma pH drops for just $29.95, call 800-518-7615 or visit AlkaVision.com. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. Alkalize your body and supercharge your health at the new AlkaVision.com. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Ovaltine. Give your kids the nutrition they need to be their best. Visit us at OvaltineUSA.com. Telling your child about healthy food choices is important, but showing her what to eat goes a lot further. 
Have her help create the grocery list, then bring her to the store with you. Picking out healthy foods together helps kids get in the habit of thinking about what they're eating every day. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash your family today. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp dot free talk live dot com do you love twitter make sure you favorite the lrn.fm twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm that's twitter.lrn.fm free talk live eight fifty five four fifty Free. That's 855-450-3733. It is Mark with you. And Brian. And Stephanie. And you can give us a call and talk about whatever's on your mind here on the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. And what we're going to be doing in about sh- four short weeks. Yeah. I think I want to say less than a month at this point. It's coming up fast is the Porcupine Freedom Festival. Now, this is something that I think all of us look forward to every single year. Absolutely. Uh, this will be something like my... Uh, oh, I don't know, probably sixth or seventh year going to Porkfest, and it just gets better every year. And the real great thing about it is the people. You're going to find people there who you might not have access to where wherever it is that you live, unless maybe you live in New Hampshire, uh, and it's a community of people who are interested in freedom. They have speakers there, too, of course. There's a lot of stuff to do for people of all ages. Um, I'm going to be leading some yoga practices. So if you want to do some yoga, like we said, yoga is a great way to meet women in the last segment. (laughs) You want to do that with me? You can come to the Porcupine Freedom Festival. (laughs) There are also, you know, there are going to be panels, discussions. There's going to be live radio shows. We're doing Free Talk Live there on Sunday night. And actually every night, Free Talk Live will be broadcasting from Porkfest, campfires. But really the best thing is, um, you know, just hanging out with people who like freedom. So if that that sounds good to you. You might want to check out porkfest.com. That's P O R C F E S T.com. Now, a little bit about accommodations. Porkfest, I'm not going to lie, can can genuinely be a little uh, bit of a adventure to get to if you are living for instance on the West Coast or somewhere not not in New Hampshire or not in New there England. There are people that come every year from the West Coast just to be a pork fest. Yep. They do. But, but it's an adventure. Be aware that, you know, you're going to have to book a campsite and bring your camping stuff. And some people, you know, that's no problem for them. But there is maybe a little bit of preparation involved that wouldn't be involved if, say, you were going to like the Liberty Forum, which is the other Free State Project event that happens every year where there's hotels and stuff like that. Sure. <laughs> so, um, you know, just be aware of that. They've got all the information there to help you get there on Porkfest.com though so one more time that's p-o-r-c-f-e-s-t dot com go there get the scoop maybe you can find a ride share or something like that it's going to be a blast and uh we'll see you there indeed porkfest.com p-o-r-c-f-e-s-t dot com so we were talking about this um elliot roger elliot roger guy and um it kind of moved into the pickup artist realm because i guess right. he was one but a failed one um his, his complaint a jilted one i'm seeing a pattern here like he seemed really he just seemed really wronged and disappointed and scorned by everything you know 
he was he was disappointed he couldn't get any women, and he was also part of this forum, I guess, where people were angry at the pickup artist movement for taking their money and not giving them what was promised. Yeah, he's been he's he's the victim in a great deal of um, instances and feels very entitled um, mm-hmm. in many ways, and that's not a that's not the key to happiness, I can assure you. Um, so yeah. I, I feel for this kid, um, but I think. You know, I think there are lots of people. Sorry, Mark, did you want to finish? No, I'm just, I mean, obviously there's no excuse for what he did. I no, just, no, yeah. No, I, I, not at all. I know why he's frustrated, though. And I feel like I want to say that, you know, we, of course, don't support what we did, what he did. It's a tragedy for all the victims and their families, obviously. I think that has to be said. It's, it's too bad because it kind of turns into a jumping off point for talking about certain issues. But on the other hand, I think that there are probably a lot of people listening to this show and a lot of people who are in the liberty movement, perhaps, who are frustrated and upset because they're they're straight guys and they can't get a girlfriend. Or, and you know, I mean, lesbian women or, you know, every, anybody who can't there's find... There's about two lesbians that I know in the liberty <laughs> movement. But Maybe. I'm not talking more about the, out there. I'm not talking about the liberty movement specifically. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying I, I get... So what this is, uh, is is it, it's, it's frustration over communication. Mm-hmm. When my son is unable to, at six years old or even younger, I've seen it many times, obviously, any parent has seen this, unable to explain what he wants to explain, he often gets upset, mm-hmm. uh, like, you know, hyperventilating upset in some cases. He's so upset and you just can't, it's like, slow down, explain to me what you want. And this is kind of what I see in this circumstance. He's so frustrated and so upset that he wasn't able to get whatever it was that he wanted that he just essentially had a deadly temper tam- tantrum. And I, I, I mean, it's Which, just that's common for kids who are learning how to express their feelings and how to understand how they feel. I, I find it, you know, not for 22 year olds. No, right. But th- there's a really big problem here because I mean, I, I lived in the relative area that he's talking about for a few months and believe me, getting laid was not, a problem. I not and personally it was I don't a problem think for him. I don't think it matters who you are. That <laughs> it's it's not it's not an issue unless like you said there's just something not entirely right going on up there. I suspect that's what we're dealing with. Yeah, but I think it's important to to realize that that the the attitudes of pickup artists and of men's rights activists of teaching that one of the genders is less than human somehow. Okay, which is really what's being said. And one of his actually one of his exact statements was women are a scam. And that is a common thing, you know, being uh, schlepped around in these communities. Uh, I, I think that leads to you to being able to, you know, he didn't just kill women. He killed men, too. OK, but I think that once you can accept that one group of people is less than human, you can suddenly justify everybody being less than you or something like that. There's there's this very, very ugly language going around and I hear it all over the place. It's not just in the 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 MRA movement or in the pickup artist community. Uh, I'm hearing I'm seeing it shared a lot, you know, in the liberty movement in particular. I'm seeing these these memes and these kind of this kind of talk shared all over the place. And it's I don't know what kind of talk we're talking about. That's the difficulty I have here. Okay, it's the well, language of hating women. I think, right? Is that what I've you're certainly uh, you know seen posts on Facebook where I'm like, "Good lord, dude, you are out of line." But yeah. I've seen uh, the the problem is is that you see it on the other side too. I I, I for instance um, it was you know we put I posted something up on Facebook today mm-hmm. that said uh, the, the claim was made by some feminist gal or whatever said that uh, white women can't experience rape because um, they're white and they have uh, privilege. And so, you know, they, they might experience, really? that's the claim. You go to facebook.freetalklive.com and take a look at the Twitter, uh, you know, exchange. And there's a, there's a nut out there on the other side of every nut, um, mm-hmm. you know, on the internet. And sure. Yeah, I just I'm surprised to hear that, but maybe someone did say that. Oh yeah, yeah. But, but, don't but, worry, but somebody yeah, said everything. <laughs> it's tragic on both sides, you know. Like Absolutely, I, I'd like to get beyond the adversarial kind of gender wars, but I I do see Brian. I think the reason why I I want to talk about this and maybe what you're saying is that there are a lot of people out there who are men and they're straight and they're upset because they can't get a woman, and in turn they translate that into hating women but also wanting to be with one at the same time or maybe yeah. be with more than one. Which, of course, and is that, counterproductive. That doesn't lead to happiness. You know, no. the, It's not a solution. Hating women is not a solution. It's not going to get you laid. You know, <laughs> I wish it were easier to get laid. Yeah. I, lo- I wish culture were less restrictive. I, less, I wish more people were more sexually free. I wish 
um, it was legal to do sex work. And I wish and I, I wish I wish. I think sex work, by the way, might have saved this guy. Uh, yeah, but Las Vegas is so short. That, that's such a short drive. Yeah, he would just it really? Clearly, been, didn't think of it. Yeah, would it really I, been I that don't know. Hard I mean, I want in L.A. There's yeah, gotta I, be th- there's in plenty LA. of opportunities. There's hotels where you can get your rocks off. Uh, yeah, I mean, but I wouldn't go to one of those places. I I wouldn't. Um, <sighs> you know, I mean, I I understand the frustration this guy's got. Everybody everybody understands it to some extent. I wouldn't go. You know, wherever there are street walkers or whatever. Sure. But there, there's a point I want to bring up. First, I want to say is that, and Stephanie, you had actually uh, said this, mentioned this earlier before the show, that, look, no, for, fortunately, extremists on both sides of this, you know, be it these, you know, state worshiping feminists, quote unquote, or the MRAs and the pickup artists, neither of them are, are, are killing each other. Fortunately, right? I mean, this is this is a un- somewhat unique situation. But I think that attitude is really, really detrimental to everybody's happiness, like we're saying, mm-hmm. okay? And I I worry be- because here's, here's where I think it becomes a real problem more on the MRA side, is that why do they want to men's be with these- Men's rights activists. Yeah, men's rights activists and, and pickup artists. Why do they want to be with these women? Just to have sex? Sounds like it. Okay, but is that but are they honest in telling you that? Because normally what they'll say is, well, I just want to, I want to, uh, you know, I want somebody to talk to. I want a companion. Well, then get with a guy. But that's not it because they can't screw a guy. <laughs> okay, that that that's the thing. Yeah. And so I think there's there's a lot of lying going around all the way. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now, 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial, 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. Henry Ford once said, a man who stops advertising to save money is like a man who stops a clock to save time. Alex Castle here, the National Account Executive at GCN. I have the ability to customize a national radio campaign based on your budget while targeting your demographic. Contact me to find out how national radio can help your business be more profitable at 877-996-4327, extension 177. That's 877-996-4327, extension 177, and help me help you bring your business to the next level. Tired of taking handfuls of vitamin pills? Look and feel super with a great-tasting liquid vitamin and mineral supplement called Passion for Life. This incredible one-ounce daily drink can lead to better stamina and energy due to fat. Life contains 135 all-natural whole food ingredients. It's the best-tasting, most powerful product of its kind on the market. Order now by calling 844-TRY-LIFE or find out much more about Passion for Life by visiting 844-TRY-LIFE.COM. 844-TRY-LIFE.COM. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Tickets are available now at a special early bird price of just $40 via credit card or Bitcoin. That $40 price only lasts through Porkfest, so don't delay. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's keenvention.info. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone. 
213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. Free Talk Live. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can give us a call, talk about whatever is on your mind. We've been talking about this uh, situation with uh, Elliot Roger. Rogers. I'm not getting his name right. I, I guess I, you know, he'll be gone in a week and I won't even know his name. More like 20 minutes. <laughs> um, but you can give us a call on 855-450-FREE or LRN.FM is our username on Skype. Uh, the audio sounds great there if you call us on Skype and People have been calling on Skype for, for weeks, months now, and it's uh, working out great. So username lrn.fm, you have to send a request to contact there. We'll approve it pretty quickly, and uh, you can call us right off. You can listen to us lots of different ways, and those ways are eh, pretty clear for you if you go to listen.freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live's goal is to make it as easy as possible for you to hear our voices. We don't charge for these things, um, uh, and there's lots of different methods. So you can there's live streams on the internet, uh, our hundred and, nearly 150 radio affiliates. We briefly kissed 150 and then uh, found out that a station that uh, wasn't carrying us anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Whoops. sure I'm sure Free Talk Live will get there again. Oh yeah, we'll be there, back there probably in a week or two. Anyway, you can go to affiliates.freetalklive.com if you uh, want to keep track of how many affiliates, radio uh, station affiliates we have at any given time. But uh, listen.freetalklive.com to find all the different ways that you can listen to Free Talk Live. And there are a lot of ways. Indeed. So um, w- what I mentioned in the, the last segment was this uh, weird little picture of uh, this odd situation on uh, that I found on Facebook and it's a Twitter exchange and it's I don't know I can't explain it I don't like it um, I'm just go ahead here and uh, and read it posted by something that appears to be black power peace um, white women being raped is like white men experiencing racism hashtag fairy tale hashtag solidarity is for white women I don't know what that means um, and then this it mean do you want to know what it means? Yeah, solidarity is for a white woman. Uh, because you know there, were, there a while ago, I think there was a, a hashtag going around on Twitter saying like it, something about solidarity for feminists. But um, there's been kind of a tension in feminism between like um, people of color and white people that like supposedly like you know well not supposedly I guess they do experience different things. Like if sure. you're, if you're ni- non-white versus if you're white, then you have like additional problems to deal with because of your race that white people don't experience. And so how can you really have solid, how can the white people really have solidarity? Cause they don't understand what the people of color are going through. That was the, that's how I can sum it up. I, I got it. You know, I watched a Ted um, with uh, I think the only black female CEO. She was great by the way. It was wow. awesome. But who, I th- who is it? I, God, you know, I, this is coming off the Sorry. top of my head. I don't know. <laughs> okay. um, she was a pretty lady who was, you know, awesome at the speech. Just it, it was great. And I you know, recommend anyone go look for it. Um, probably search black CEO TED Talk and you'll you'll find it. Um, and she was talking about a situation where she went with a black friend to a party. Big deal party. One of these big deal parties. Right. Not, not a not a party party. A big deal. A mm. soiree. <laughs> and apparently somebody at the desk is like. Where where are your uniforms? Oh gosh! And now you get how stinging that is. But then I thought to myself, and I I felt the sting too when she said it. It stung when she said it. I could feel her pain on mm. it. But then I thought, you know, when I go to Home Depot, people ask me, 
white women, <laughs> on a pretty regular, older white women, on a pretty regular basis, ask me, excuse me, do you work here? Now, I'm not wearing an orange apron. I just have biceps or whatever, right? Like, I'm, you know, I, I look like I know my way around a Home Depot, right? And, and I do know my way around a Home Depot. And I don't feel stung that this lady thinks that I work at Home Depot. I feel like if I've got time, I'm going to help her. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I don't know what the relationship between those two situations are. I can see how they say that, um, you, you know, that wh- the white, per- the white person can't experience racism, but do you see how similar those situations are? I mean, I've just yeah. been mistaken for a, uh, you know, a low level functionary um, that gets a low level paycheck. Mind <laughs> you, I spent most of my life in these positions and it doesn't bother me, <laughs> but that's what happened to her too. Yeah. And for some reason, it's stinging as hell when she experiences it. But when people hear, um, it, you know, hear me experience something similar, it's like, eh, you know, they're either going to come up with excuses or ignore it or whatever. Yeah. So I don't know. Sure. I just think, hmm. Yeah, so- I can see both sides. I mean, you know, there are people out there who might say, well, you can choose not to be offended by that and just move on and not let it ruin your life. I can see that. I, I, I relate to that. Grace right? and aplomb is the thing to apply there, but I can still see why she felt the sting. Oh, yeah, totally. And then, like, the other question is, how often does that happen? You know, does that is that happening every day? Because it's I mean, that's tough to deal with if you have to if you have to be dealing with that on a very consistent basis and you're having to kind of steal yourself all the time and shake it off when people make comments like that to you. I imagine that probably disrupts your life. Yeah. And I think if you're um, if you're dealing with if I went to Home Depot on a daily basis, I would experience this on a weekly basis. Um, That's how often it happens to Mm me or at least has happened to me. I don't go as often as I used to. Uh, But the if if you deal with that sort of thing on a regular basis, you probably come up with mechanisms for sort of turning things around easily and adroitly would be my guess. Let me go on ex- um, reading this thing. So uh, Black Power Peace says white women being raped is like white men experiencing racism. Hashtag fairy tale. And then uh, what appears to be a white woman says, wait, what? Are you saying white women can't be raped or am I misunderstanding? And then what appears to be a picture of an Asian woman? I'm just telling you what I see here. Um, rape equals power plus non-consensual sex. Saying white women can be raped is like saying whites can experience racism. Yeah, I I read it right the first time. You're wildly and offensively wrong, says the white lady. The Asian woman comes back and says, you can experience non-consensual sex. Sounds like rape to me. But you can't experience rape. You just can't see because your privilege is blinding you because you're a white woman. Wow. So that's think, the, the yeah. weirdness that's going on here. Wow, yeah. I, I almost can't believe that's real because that, yeah. that is... Then I don't believe that any of the men in the men's rights movement that say if wildly offensive things about women are real either, Brian. Maybe some of them aren't. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I'm no. sure there are people on both sides just trolling and making oh, up... Oh, certainly. Strong, I'm sure there's nuts on either sides too. Certainly. I mean, there's philosophers... Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's philosophers out there that are saying now that rape doesn't even exist, that, that all these cases are BS, uh, you know, or... I mean, yeah, there's people who are saying that everything's, you know, just a bunch of, of lies and whichever, but uh, I mean, you saw it kind of firsthand. I mean, there, there's these ah, boy. Well, <laughs> I would, just, this, would that person say that men can't be raped then because men are in the dominant group? Yes, I mean, they would. Like, I have they heard, actually, I read the the entire thread and it's there too. You know, I have I have heard this argument before about racism. There's a very famous book called "Why Are All the Black Kids Sitting Together at the Cafeteria Table?" Have you heard of this? No. Nope. Um, okay. Well, the author is, I think, Beverly Tatum, and she was like, she's a black uh, high school principal or something like that. And she, like, in the intro section of the book, which I had to read for this college class that I took called American Diversity. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, I think this stuff's always interesting. I, I like it. Well, it's interesting if you want to read it. I was feeling pretty resentful at the time yeah. about reading it because I didn't want to read it. Okay. I just kind of had to take the class. But gotcha. anyway, uh, so I read this, and she said that white people can't experience racism because they are in the dominant group. And when I read that, I was like really turned off by that. I was like, well, no, anybody can experience racism. It's it's just you being discriminated against because of your race or treated differently or whatever. 
But well, I can tell you that white people can experience racism, and it's very bad for everybody when they do. Um, because I saw a situation. I it's was bad when anyone experiences it, agreed, racism. Agreed, but but, right? but the, so let me let me tell you real quick what I saw here. So I was um, the sergeant's positions at the prison I used to work at um, would come open, and a black woman got the position, and. Who know, it, it all looked for very much like they were constantly sort of picking color and gender. Um, it really looked like that. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I mean, you know, it looked very these a lot of these guys were like, I got skipped over because I'm a white guy. And did they? I think that they do pick based on gender and color um, at that circ- that time. I think that's what they were doing. However, uh, you know, I mean, don't worry, man. There's going to be another sergeant position in another six months. Just mm-hmm. hang on. But uh, like one of the things that uh, maybe feminists or progressives might say would be that part of so-called privilege is being able to get a promotion and not have people question whether it was because of your race. Oh, yeah, that's privilege whatever, indeed. You know? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't disagree with that. I'm just saying that, yes, it's happened. Sure, it's happened. And um, that's the lashback. And that's the lashback from things like affirmative action and that kind of thing. Yeah, I, yeah. If, if we can get the government out of these situations, I think that we'd be better off. There wouldn't be the ping-ponging back and forth mm. between groups uh, vying for power. Mm-hmm. And that's... It's unfortunate. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. It is not an easy situation to handle with a plob, I can can assure you. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you're helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, May 25th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.48 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,293 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $562. 
Antiwar.com reports the Obama administration has suspended U.S. military aid to Thailand after the recent coup and is halting non-essential visits by U.S. government officials to the country. The administration was reluctant to recognize the Thai coup, initially defending the takeover as constitutional. When Thailand's military started calling it a coup, however, the ruse was over and Obama was obliged under U.S. law to make the cut. That's in keeping with the administration's reaction to other coups, as the one in Egypt, which the U.S. still hasn't officially recognized and has not led to cutting the much larger military aid sent there. Army Chief General Ray Odierno called Thailand's new junta chief on Friday, urging the quick restoration of democratic principles to the country. It is unclear what that actually means, but with the junta talking about making wholesale reforms before even considering elections, it is likely the U.S. will look for some pretense to declare the coup over pretty quickly, and Thailand will probably see U.S. military aid back long before they see return to civilian rule. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Bitcoin Not Bombs. Bitcoin Not Bombs is a launching pad for nonprofits and social entrepreneurs into the financial freedom of the Bitcoin economy. Bitcoin Not Bombs is fully committed to being the hub of the nonprofit sector of the Bitcoin economy, maximizing the potential cross promotion of all our clients and commercial partners. To learn more, visit bitcoinnotbombs.com. The AP reports an Arkansas judge on Friday continued a stay of his ruling against the state's new voter ID law, but appeared to leave open the possibility that he could reconsider and block the law's enforcement during next month's primary. The Secretary of State, meanwhile, told the judge he planned to appeal the ruling to the state Supreme Court. Pulaski County Circuit Judge Tim Fox formally entered his ruling that requiring voters to show photo identification before casting a ballot is unconstitutional. The five-page order formalizes a ruling Fox issued from the bench on May 2nd when Fox issued a preliminary injunction against the law but said he would not block its enforcement during the primary. The American Civil Liberties Union and the Arkansas Public Law Center had sued the state over the law on behalf of four voters who the group said would be harmed by the new requirement. Jeff Preeb, an attorney for the groups, said Fox's decision leaves open the possibility that he could lift the stay. Preeb said he's talking with the plaintiffs about the next step, saying if the defendants choose to appeal, we look forward to presenting this to the Arkansas Supreme Court to ensure that all voters in Arkansas who are qualified can vote. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. Ars Technica reports, on Saturday, an unnamed administration official told Reuters that the U.S. government is considering using visa restrictions to keep Chinese hackers from attending DEF CON and Black Hat, two major hacking conferences that take place in August in Las Vegas. Reuters reported the move would be part of a broad effort to curb Chinese cyber espionage. The news comes after five members of the Chinese military were indicted by the U.S. on Monday for allegedly hacking into U.S. companies and stealing trade secrets. It was the first time ever that the U.S. had formally accused another government of hacking. Jeff Moss, the founder of both DEF CON and Black Hat, and Chris Weisipol, a member of the Black Hat board that reviews presentations, were both skeptical of the move. Weissapal noted that Black Hat talks are taped and sold after the conference and preventing Chinese hackers from being physically there would not appreciably affect China's hacking abilities, saying, it seems symbolic to me. Several Chinese nationals are booked to speak at the Black Hat conference, although none are booked to speak at DEF CON. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. While waiting to interview for a web consultant position with local marketing firm Bizco, applicant Ryan Ehrlich told Onion reporters he wasn't entirely sure he was dynamic enough for his prospective employer. When I first saw that the agency was looking for a leader willing to contribute as a valued member of the team, I thought it was the perfect fit. But the more I think about it, the less I'm sure I'm actually an energetic self-starter. I mean, I think I'm a versatile independent thinker, but 
Honestly, how do you even know for sure? Ehrlich, who found Bisco's online job posting earlier this week, went on to express doubts that he truly possesses the forward-thinking instincts and next-generation idea assets required to work with the fast-paced marketing firm's team of self-starters. Can I reimagine a brand for a digital landscape? Sure. But do I really have the energy, skills, enthusiasm, and passion to be a part of this dynamic, growth-oriented company? I just don't know. Oh, God. Who am I kidding? There's, there's no way I'm on the cutting edge. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. 855-450-3733. It's the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Brian. And Stephanie. And it was called Free Talk Live. You can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind here on the live Sunday edition. As uh, has Corey. Let's go to Corey calling in on Skype. You can call us on Skype. Our username is lrn.fm. You'll have to send a request first. But uh, we'll, we'll accept that in short order. And then you can give us a call on Skype like Corey has. Corey, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey, um, I was just, I wanted to throw something out there about Elliot Roger. Y'all were talking about um, him being, acting like a child and having a temper tantrum and all of that. Um, and, and I don't didn't hear y'all mention it, but he, he does suffer from Asperger's. Okay, I did say that he was on, uh, that I thought he was on the uh, spectrum. Mm-hmm. Yes, he, so yeah, that is, that is something they confirmed in the news report. So uh, that would be, I mean, that, that. That carries with it issues with um, social abilities and understanding, having issues with empathy, sympathy, um, socially connecting, things like that. Yeah. Sure. And I don't know what one does about uh, about this. It's, I mean, you know, how you've got this mental health issue. There's no way to keep adults, he's 22, away from guns. You couldn't ban guns thoroughly enough in the United States mm. to keep them away from a rich kid. Yeah, and there's already people calling conspiracies, saying that this was a setup to even do that. No matter what happens, yeah. someone will call conspiracy. That's, That's for, sure. for sure. Yeah, I mean, there's people like Alex Jones in the world who will call a conspiracy if, if a rain falls from the sky. <laughs> I, I That's have harp, not, Corey. Don't you know about uh, harp? <laughs> I, I haven't heard what uh, Alex's take on this is. I'd be interested in, in that. I, I think poor Alex and it suffers from his fame, too. Every every conspiracy theory under the sun gets uh, gets tossed at him. Friends, yeah. I mean, he, I guess he has to bite, uh, or he's called a hack or something. I'm sure. <laughs> um, but he is a hack, so it really doesn't matter. But um, back to the race and gender thing, because this is just my thing, you know. Um, so the in, it's called intersectionality, and the reason yeah. that racism cannot be experienced by people who are in power is because that would not make any sense. So if um, so, for example, Mark, if your son said, "Daddy, I don't like you because you're white." Would Seems like an be, odd statement, but okay. It would be a, an odd statement, first of all. But second of all, it would be uh, it wouldn't be harmful. It wouldn't be hurtful. Or if your son said, "Daddy, I don't want to hang around you because you're white," uh, or anything like that, it wouldn't be meaningful because he's not in a position of power. Well, anytime now, he said he didn't want to hang out with me, that would be hurtful. But okay, I understand. But but if. If he said that because it was because of your your the color of your skin, uh, social construction of race, um, that's what I'm getting at. So for racism to take place, there has to be some kind of power involved, which means there has to be some kind of dominance. Now, what these fools have done is taken that to the most extreme and only looked at it the, and and broken it down into a dichotomy where it's white versus every other minority, which really simplifies it way too much because if I'm in a group, uh, if, if so, if I'm in a Hispanic, uh, majority, you know, I'm white and I'm around a bunch of Hispanic people and they're saying things and not including me in conversation and treating me bad and acting in prejudiced ways toward me, then that is acting, uh, in a racist way because there's a power differential involved in that social situation. So Corey, so, that's that's a great explanation, but 
I would challenge that idea because, not because I don't accept it, because I acknowledge racism exists and all kinds of discrimination exists. I got that. It's just that in certain ways or in certain domains of our lives, we, we, a person embodies, you know, perhaps characteristics of, of the dominant group and characteristics that are not dominant. So like, for instance, um, Brian is an atheist and you could argue atheists are kind of oppressed and discriminate against and not liked, but he's also white and he's a male and he's straight. That, and so like the, the fact the, the, that that's a fact that atheists are, um, discriminated against and yeah. it's actually in law in many states in the country that, that they're there. I mean, it, if it was ever challenged in court, it'd be thrown out, but, um, yeah, I mean, there's actually laws on the books that discriminate against Right, them. but don't we all have ways in which we are part of the dominant group, but also part of minority groups? Yes, we do. Um, but that's that's what what it, that's what an ideology is. That's why. So racism is just another ideology, just like sexism. So if I'm uh, if you're a uh, a woman and I'm a man, and uh, I'm in a group of men and I'm being sexist against women. That's the same kind of dynamic. It's an ideology that's shared by the majority of groups against a minority group. Um, and these groups can be very, very large, like 50-50 uh, in an entire population, men and women, or they can be uh, like races where there's several large groups, but not quite 50-50, you know. So uh, whites are a very large majority, and then you have Hispanics that are maybe 5 to 10 percent. Uh, blacks that are 25 percent and on and on hispanics are uh i believe have surpassed blacks as far as the percentage of the my uh, of the population. the population and and blacks are something like uh 12 percent i believe is the on a national total you might be talking about some state of your that maybe yeah. georgia or something no it's, it's higher than that but i'm just throwing random percentages out there. already uh, but that's the thing that's what i'm trying to get at so the, uh, there's another issue as far as sociological use of terms. Uh, if if we're talking science, you know, so if you're doing a scientific experiment and you're using the term si uh, validity and reliability, those are being used in very specific ways. When a sociologist uses uh, the word racism, they're using it in a way that's been uh, hammered out over years of discussion and uh, um worked out in the literature mm -hmm. on the issue, you know, mm -hmm. so kind of the, the technical parts of it, uh, as far as power being involved and actually what constitutes racism and what does not as an ideology, uh, is being taken into consideration. So you actually have to take in, you have to think about those nuances that, that are involved. Yeah. You know, I think this is something that would solve a whole lot of problems if everybody just had the same definitions. Oh, my God. That's, that is the only debate. That, yeah. It's the only Everything debate semantics. on anything else. Yeah. It's all about semantics. It's all about defining terms. That's why I don't like to die on the hill of every term that, as I understand it. I like to be as fluid as possible. Okay. You're, you're defining racism in this way. Well, that's what I, how I define as prejudice, but okay, let's go with that. Or boorish, See, insensitive talk or whatever. Prejudice is, is defined in a, a more narrow way. Prejudice is a, is a belief um, that's not, that doesn't involve just race, the con social construction of race. So you can be prejudiced against someone on the basis of their religion, uh, sex, a lot of different things, but racism is an ideology that's based on the social construction of race. And does it, it means that so, one believes that a certain race is superior? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I was listening to this really, go back to the semantics thing, I was listening to this really, really awesome uh, podcast called, uh, I think it's called Sovereign Tech. <laughs> <laughs> really? And, we might know the person who does that. Yeah. I heard it was a great show, too. Go ahead, Corey. <laughs> so, yeah, really, really awesome. Um, just found out about it recently. Um, no, just kidding. I've been doing it for a long time. But And the quote by Philip K. Dick, I think, was mentioned this week, um, that he who controls the definition of words uh, will rule the world. Yeah. I might have considered something else. But Corey, what's this other um, detail about Elliot uh, Roger you want to mention? Uh, that was it, the Asperger's thing. The, okay. The, the, the developmental delay as far as... When someone has Asperger's, they they develop more slowly. Um, 
and kind of it, it terminates at a certain age where they're just not going to get any more socially capable. Yeah, I figured it had to be something like that. Thanks for the call. I mean, it was, uh, for a man to get to 22, be as concerned as he was about, uh, you know, having sex and not to have had sex, I figured there had to be something, uh, you know. Yeah, the still very concerning, illness. though, that there are entire groups that fed, you know, what, what he, the ideology that he espoused. There's always going to be weak people. Um, I want to hear more about it here uh, coming up. 855-450 free. Love to hear your opinions on it, too. That's 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. Angioprim can unclog blocked arteries and improve blood flow in all parts of your body. Angioprim is oral chelation. Easy, simple, liquid oral chelation. You take it with juice before breakfast and forget about it. Angioprim works fast, unlike old-fashioned chelation that takes hours. Just log on to angioprim.com. That's angioprim, A-N-G-I-O-P-R-I-M, angioprim.com. Angioprim users say they have more energy, more strength, more endurance. Increased circulation and blood flow will make all your body parts work better. Log on to angioprim.com. Angioprim.com to get more information on how you can get started and start feeling better, having fun, and doing more again. Lots more. Talk to a trained Angioprim consultant. Call Angioprim toll free at 877-882-7221. That's 877-882-7221. Or log on for complete information. Angioprim.com. That's Angioprim.com. Find out how Angioprim can work for you. Get the facts about Angioprim at Angioprim.com. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country, with a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers. How can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. If you're just tuning in, a horrific accident, dozens are dead and hundreds more injured after the Coors Light party train crashed in Pratt, Kansas. The train was barreling through a field on its way to liven up a boring overheated barbecue when something went wrong. Partiers were thrown hundreds of feet from the train as the frost-powered locomotive careened through bystanders at its normal speed of over 27,000 miles per hour. Rescue crews are struggling to get close to the crash. The Rocky Mountain frost radiating from the downed silver bullet is flash freezing survivors' bodies as they try to escape the wreckage. And the OJ's hit song, Love Train, is looping at deafening levels. No word yet on the cause of the accident, but investigators are focusing now on the fact that the train weighs 400 million tons and was not on rails. Coors Light has released the following statement, quote, Coors Light regrets any loss of life caused by the Coors Light party train's raw, frosty power. Please continue to enjoy Coors Light. We'll have more on this story as it develops. This is the Onion News Network. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit LibertyOnTheRocks.org today to get started. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at Forum.LRN.FM. That's Forum.LRN.FM.
Free Talk Live. You can give us a call at 855-450-3733. It's a live Sunday edition, 855-450-FREE. Mark with you. And Brian. And Stephanie. And uh, you can also call us on Skype. Uh, Our username there is lrn.fm. And uh, also, of course, that is the ProXPN toll-free call-in line. Uh, But what is ProXPN? Oh, uh, listen up, because this is a public service announcement yeah, about this is, your internet <laughs> privacy. Seriously. Seriously. This is incredibly, incredibly important. Uh, ProXPN, it's a VPN service. Okay, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. And what this is, it is, it is an app that you put on your computer or your smartphone or your tablet. And it could be Android, iOS, as far as your computer goes. It could be uh, Linux. Setup's a little different there. But uh, it could be Linux. It could be Mac, you know, OS X. It could be Windows. And you put this on, and every bit of data that goes up into the cloud, that goes to the internet, gets encrypted before it gets there, okay? It gets encrypted on the way. That way your ISPs can't see what's happening. It all gets done client-side, which means it gets done on your machine and is encrypted. It is absolutely necessary. We are finding out more and more every day that... What your your metadata, which is your your online data, your online information that you put out there, and that's everything, your bank and whatever, is being literally used uh, against you, more or less, be it by employers, be it by governments. Take your pick, okay? And so you are, you know, or it's something that just a, a hacker, or you're not a hacker, a cracker, a bad actor, okay, could get their hands on. You don't want that to happen. Your digital life is very important to you. You want to get ProXPN. Use the code FTL20. Go to ProXPN.com, okay? And you'll get 20% off using that code FTL20. Or you can get even more off, uh, about 30% off, with Bitcoin. If you use Bitcoin, yes, they accept Bitcoin, and they do not keep logs. This is an incredibly handy service. I didn't even get to everything that a VPN allows you to do. It is true internet privacy and, ironically, also internet freedom. I recommend it. Couldn't recommend it more. ProXPN. Yeah, I, I love ProXPN. It's so easy to use. That for mm, me, that's what the, the biggest biggest deal is. It just kind of does its own little thing. And Absolutely. I don't Even have works to worry on your about phone. It. Yeah, very handy. Indeed. So you can give us a call on the ProXPN call-in lines, 855-450-3733, or Skype like Nathan did. Nathan, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Uh, hi, Mark. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Brian. Hey. Hey, Nathan. I just wanted to weigh in on this Rogers thing because I've watched some of the, the videos involved. I could tell right away that there was something a little off about him by the way he spoke. I don't, I couldn't, you can't necessarily diagnose something like autism from just, you know, talking to someone for two minutes, but I did, he did seem a little off. That's and how I was the psychologists act- diagnose it by talking to them and doing, I guess, some, <laughs> some tests or exams, but that's pretty much what they yeah, do. Yeah. Right, right. But I'm just saying there are a lot of mental disorders could probably look the same, like if someone's on some kind of drug or something. Um, but anyway, I, I got introduced to this by actually a pickup artist video that was a pickup artist person criticizing him and showing pictures of this Elliot guy. And he basically kind of, get, you know, runs through a gamut of things that he thinks he should do to pick up, you know, be a pickup artist. Like, you know, it's um, a little should- late for that, isn't it? <laughs> No, it he was before the. <laughs> oh, it was before. It was made before he went on this rampage. Yeah, I guess it was okay. related to one of these forums he was on. I don't know, but he was saying things like, "Man, your glasses aren't going to get you laid," and things like that. And I didn't watch the whole video, wow. but uh, I didn't it, uh, see glasses in his picture. All right. Oh yeah. well, he had a, apparently he had a video where he was talking about his expensive clothes and glasses. Oh, and his uh, three hundred dollar glasses. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. yeah, sunglasses. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, the three hundred dollars sunglasses. And uh, another another quick fact before I w- uh, say what I was going to say is that the police were aware that there was something wrong. Yep. They, his mother had called the police, and they did talk to him. And apparently, the police couldn't find anything wrong with him. Right. So, well, uh, and this is the I'm not prepared to go after the police on this one. I I'm you know <laughs> there aren't too many bigger critics on the radio than me of uh, law enforcement. But what are they supposed to do? Mm. He you know I mean this is a smart young man who you know they give him a call they talk to him or they they talk i think they went to his work whatever they talk to the guy and he says nope no problem here and you know here are the reasons why or whatever what are they supposed to do these that's not look look folks it's not law enforcement officers job to protect you get it through your head the the supreme court has ruled it over and over again it's not their job to protect you they enforce laws on people who have broken them 
in order for them to have broken laws, in many cases, that means that they have harmed you or someone else. You are responsible for protecting you. Uh, I could, couldn't agree more. And uh, my thoughts on this are, I think there, I guess I have two main thoughts. The first is that if he indeed had this condition, uh, Asperger's, then I could see how that would relate to all these problems he's having because the main the main criteria there is a difficulty with interacting and communicating with people in social situations. So if it doesn't matter how many pickup artists videos he watches, if he can't actually, you know, see the social cues that the videos are telling him to Indeed. look for, right? This so, is a nuanced thing. And, okay, I, I tend to think that many of the pickup artists aren't as good at it as they say. But... Um, <laughs> You know, there are, and in everything, there are geniuses and there are fools. And some of us are going to be better at talking to people of the opposite sex and, and finagling, uh, you know, sex out of them or whatever. And some of us are going to be worse at it. I mean, is there a way that you can, is there a way that you can talk to people? Probably. But it's probably not going to work for everybody. The way that works for one guy isn't going to work for another. This is why all there's, the pickup artists don't say the same things. There's not a formula. I, I think it really right. appeals to people who want there to be a formula. Yeah. You know, people who are like, I just don't get this. This is never, I've never had success in this area. What rules do I have to follow to make this work? And there, right. are, that, there it, aren't it was, it was very clear. He said that several times. Why doesn't this work? Why doesn't X, Y, Z lead to uh, ABC yep. and that kind of thing? Indeed. So and it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> and I the other, get it. Yeah. And the other thing I noticed is that there, there was a lot of collectivism in in his videos. I, sure I only watched one or two. The guy's like not some kind of principled libertarian. <laughs> Well, he call it, I just think maybe that a lot of the things that are wrong in people's lives can be solved if they have better ideas about themselves and about life. And he, he definitely, there was a lot of collectivism. He was saying, you know, all you pickup artists have failed me. Uh, you know, you women have, fa have you know, not done X, Y, Z. And so now I'm going to collect, initiate collective punishment, like this kind of thing. And I think part of it is just, I mean, like you said, Mark, it's a very vapid kind of place. This is, this is Hollywood we're talking about. You know, I'm sure they inculcate the values that if if you have a car and you have the sunglasses or whatever, then you will get women. I mean, I'm sure that's a part of it. Yeah, and I think that kind of that exists there to a degree. So certainly, in some ways, he was just like a passive receiver, just picking up on these social cues and then applying them in an unrealistic way. And then, you know, to you know, just frustration that doesn't result in anything because he's saying he's saying he's saying that I have to live up to society's image of success. Well, what that is. Um, I can't be my own person and find my own way in life. So I think that was I think that was maybe the other thing going on there. Yeah, this is I mean, you know, talking about this poor, socially malcontented kid, um, I suppose that uh, I, I don't know what we're going to want to finally parse out of this. Um, Nathan, I do appreciate the call. Thanks so much. You can give us a call at 855-450-FREE or LRN.FM on Skype. 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. Question. Could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM1 from Terragonics. Pro-EM1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terragonics.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com, or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro-EM1 from Terragonics. Life's getting better. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. 
the successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the Liberty Media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Fact. The new NSA data center in Utah requires 1.7 million gallons of water every single day to operate. Billions of Fourth Amendment violations need massive computers and the water to cool them. That water is being supplied by the state of Utah. Fact. There's absolutely nothing in the Constitution which requires your state to help the feds violate your rights. Our message to Utah? Turn it off. No water equals no NSA data center. Visit offnow.org. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Call in, talk about whatever's on your mind here on the the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. We've been talking about this Elliot Rogers character who apparently is dead now. Um, got him. We're not sure how he died, whether it was uh, self-inflicted or whether he got caught in a hail of bullets. But um, he killed six people. Yes. And he's uh, frustrated that, well, the, the, the women of, of Los Angeles, the women of uh, Hollywood, did not want him him even though he had a nice car and he had uh, nice sunglasses and he did the uh, you know the pickup artist stuff he, he took their courses yep, and that did the nagging the peacocking the whole thing the whole thing well we don't know about that but i don't know but those are the two of the things that are most uh, amusing about yeah. the <laughs> <laughs> um the the pickup artist stuff Anyway, if you want to get some bitcoins we were just talking about bitcoins during the break there's been a precipitous rise you can't you know what Precip rises aren't precipitous. Precipitation falls. There has been a rocketing yeah. rise of uh, the value of bitcoins. They're now at uh, I saw them at five seventy today. And if you want to get some bitcoins, go to cashintocoins.com. They make it easy for you. It's safe, fast, completely legal, inexpensive. The instructions on their website are clear. Customer service is their top priority. I have spent well. I have done a lot of business. A great deal of business with CashIntoCoins.com, and they're a great company. You can uh, send a money order, check, wire transfer to them, whatever you want to do. They have great rates, orders under $40. If you just want to dip your toe into the Bitcoin water, you can do that. Order, um, Just order under $40 worth, and there's no fee. CashIntoCoins.com. 
Com. By the way, we're expecting a big announcement out of them relatively here in short order. Oh, I'm excited. I can understand the suspense. This has it, been it, coming for it's months. It's building. It's building. <laughs> you know, with websites, you got to, you know, there's always delays. I remember our, our website, it was like six months from the time we thought it was going to be uh, delivered to when it. Um, yeah, you want to do it right. <laughs> Indeed. No doubt about it. Um, let's uh, go on with the, the yeah, article here. I think there's a larger story here more so than certainly, you know, six people being or seven people total being killed himself, obviously the killer included. Uh, and this has to do with the reaction by the pickup artist community, which I think it's, it goes, it's very clear that Elliot Roger was a part of. And so the, the PUAs, that's pickup artists, were, who were not immediately connected to Roger were quick to capitalize on the news, suggesting that if Roger had been a more devoted PUA protege, they could have gotten him laid and prevented violence against women. A PUA site called Strategic Dating Coach, which sells DVDs on how to turn a conversation with a woman sexual in no time flat, Commented on no one of Roger. Flat. Yeah, no time flat. You're gonna turn it sexual. Yeah, just instantaneously because they're you know there's just a switch on women that you can flick. They're I robots. love that the one weird trick that you can. Uh, the, the mm, one there's weird, always one weird trick. The one <laughs> weird thing Belly you can say to women. To yeah, earn thousands of dollars in a yeah. month and to turn <laughs> conversations sexual. It's the new thing, and uh, <laughs> you should you know you should think twice when you see that one weird wit trick thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, let's see. So, which sells DVDs on? Yeah, how did? Okay, we already talked about that. Uh, YouTube videos where he despairs about his dating life as he films a couple kissing in Santa Barbara. This is why we do what we do. Strategic dating coach weighed in to prevent this stuff, though he's not saying stuff. Uh, he should have gone to our website and got our personal dating coaching or purchased one of our products. If anyone needs help, contact us. Don't suffer injustice. Look, if they're so injustice, injustice. Yeah, if, if yeah. these people, I mean, this is insane. I want to read a little more, but if these people are just so, uh, you know, concentrated on and, and so concerned about people dying, why are they selling this for a profit? Get that out there for free. Mm, yeah, it's like the legal website. If well, they, they think it's going to contact us, um, you know, maybe they're offering a discount or something. Maybe I mean, they are, but that that should have been I, laid I out it. because it can't help but sound really like very capitalizing. Well, he's, it's funny because he's couching it in these terms of like, oh, he's saving lives, but. Yep. I don't believe well, that for here, a minute. <laughs> here's more. Members of pickup artist uh, Roosh V's forums piled on. Game saves lives. Now, game, of course, is the game. That's what pickup artists do. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to think of ways our enemies will come after us because of this. But if anything, we're the solution to this sort of murder rampage. Roosh himself weighed in. He is <laughs> self-delusional and massively entitled, but exposing him to game may have saved Lives. There you go. He says he's self delusional and definitely entitled. I, he's he's nailed that on the, yeah, uh, yeah. On the head that. here. Let's go to the, the phone lines. Uh, Jimmy calling in from Arizona. Jimmy, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey, um, hey how y'all doing? Everything's fine. What's on your mind, sir? Well, I got arrested. You got arrested? Uh, yeah, yesterday. This isn't All your right. one call, is it? No, oh, no, no. All right. I just want to let y'all know. Oh, that, sorry to hear that, Jimmy. What happened? That's all right. I got arrested for uh, charged with lewd acts to an animal. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my. All right. Well, well let's assume. Were you framed? Let's assume. Somebody put that sheep there. <laughs> <laughs> let's assume you're guilty until proven innocent. What did they say you did? <laughs> well, here's the thing. As I told them my story, um... I had my daughter, her name is Grammaton, and my son, Jar Jar, with me. Jar Jar and, and Grammaton, uh, uh-huh. Jar Jar and Grammaton, and uh, we were driving. I was trying to go sell my goat, and uh, I accidentally took a Viagra. I thought it was one of my allergy pills. Uh-huh, they look, they look similar. They, uh, yep, real close. I didn't wear my belt, neither. And uh, so anyway... I pulled up uh, to this fella I was selling him my goat. When I got to get out to go pick that goat up, my pants fell down. And, of course, obviously, I had a massive erection. <laughs> and then this cop pulled up, and he said that I was trying to perform lewd acts to an animal. You were just at the wrong place at the wrong time, it sounds like. But taking the wrong pill. Yeah. You know, Jimmy, if you were in ancient told. Rome... There wouldn't have been a problem. They made statues out of people doing this. But 
Well, That's what I told the cop. I mean, I, but he wasn't, he wasn't doing anything, Brian. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy, I interrupted He's you. He's innocent. I don't got a problem with people with what they do with the animals. You know, it ain't my business. But I was, I told them repeatedly, look, man, that ain't what I do to goats. And, you know, they don't want to listen. If only, <laughs> um, Tell it to the judge. <laughs> yeah. If only somebody with a video recorded this, uh, I wouldn't have been in trouble. There you, you know? go. <laughs> Jimmy, I really, I, I, I feel for your uh, legal goat, situation goat here. Block. Keep us, keep us up to date on this one. Thanks, thanks for the call. <laughs> wow, don't you hate it when you take the wrong pill? I mean, man, that just really just kicked off. Oh a whole yeah, bad I mean, situation. sometimes you know when it's it's Tuesday or Thursday, you get the T's confused, and Thursday was the day you take Viagra, and instead it was the allergy pill. But it was Tuesday. I mean, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, boy. <laughs> Back to uh, back to some uh, ridiculousness. Uh, so these pickup artists were, you know, essentially saying, "Look, the problem here would have, you know, what really would have solved all of this is if he was just a good pickup artist and if he just stayed in the game." And they're saying, "Look, being in the game solves all of this violence." Now, th- I mean, that's insane. Okay, th- to say, <laughs> to say that 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 pickup artistry is a solution to, of course, all of life's problems. Now, obviously, this guy Elliot Roger is, or as we now know, uh, had Asperger's, right? And mm-hmm. so nothing's gonna. I guess w- what can save that? I I have no idea. Um, I you know, there's a whole community of people who have Asperger's out there on the internet, and I mean, it's it's a spectrum just like au- sure. autism, you know, sure. ranging from very. Um, people who you would almost never know have Asperger's to people who it's very obvious. Right. But as I understand it, like there are, to a certain extent, you can kind of learn maybe more social cues if you work at it. Yeah. So, but I mean, it's crazy because the fact that when it came out that he had that condition almost let the pickup artists and MRAs off the hook. You know, it's like, okay, well, this guy wasn't playing with a full deck. You know, you know, or he, you know, he wasn't all there. But now, instead, they just come out and say, "No, we need more of this. We need more of this. We need more of this." And what part of his people in this article, and we post the article on Facebook, you know, the, they looked of- online to see who else talks this way, and there's probably probably plenty of people that don't have Asperger's that talked just the way he did. Yeah, the pickup artist vocabulary uh, enforces some of his ideas. Yeah, we have a societal problem, in my opinion. 855-450 free free talk live may i have your attention please if you are trying to lose weight we need your help we're af plus and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial if you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate call now 1-800-967-9495 AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, Call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial, 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. Men who want intimacy and pleasure back in their love life don't ask if, they ask when. So men, spark up your love life, get pleasure and intimacy back, and please your special lady with Epic Nights. Epic Nights is a safe, revolutionary herbal sexual formula for men that combines ancient herbal ingredients and modern science to significantly support stamina, performance, and pleasure. Men, Epic Nights is a proven 100% natural product that works first time, every time, even after consuming alcohol. And you won't hear any of those cliche disclaimers men because epic nights will not give you unwanted side effects but epic nights will allow you to give your partner what they deserve epic nights is guaranteed as one of the most effective male enhancers on the web or will refund your purchase 100 percent buy epic nights at buyepicnights.com spelled b-u-y-e-p-i-c-n-i-g-h-t-s.com or call 1-877-330-1120 877-330-1120 epic nights one pill one epic night 
Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MindThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MindThings.com. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can give us a call, talk about whatever is on your mind here on the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Brian. And Stephanie. 855-450-3733. If you want to promote Free Talk Live, and many people find that this is a great form of activism, because, you know, for whatever reason... Being behind microphones give us some level of expertness to people. I don't know why, but it does. <laughs> um, you can go to promote.freetalklive.com and find all kinds of tools, various ways to promote the show. Whether you've got a website or you want to do something uh, in the meat space, promote.freetalklive.com. Uh, so... Did you want to talk more about the? Uh... Yeah, I want to. Uh, I, I want to figure it out as far as uh, you know this this stuff with the um, you know Elliot Rogers and and that kind of thing. Because I mean, I'm not prepared to to, to blame the uh, you know the pickup artists folks. To me, they're um, you know, they're people that are fulfilling a need. Now, are they doing it well or poorly? I think that there's an argument to be had there. Certainly, a pretty good argument. I don't think what I've seen is particularly effective. Yeah, I will agree that more sex leads to less violence. I think that that's, uh, I think that's the case, um, yeah. in, my, in my opinion. But I think there's a lot of scientific evidence for that. But go I ahead. don't hang out in clubs a lot. Me neither. Um, I, you know, I, I had, honestly, at dance clubs, marginal success. I, you know, I'm not much of a dancer. I think the dancers should go to dance clubs. They probably do quite well. <laughs> um, I don't know. But, uh, you know, it's not the life I wanted to live. It just, it wasn't for me. Um, and so I believe that you've, you know, the, here's my advice to young people who are, you know, are lonely and, and dispossessed. You know, go to the place that the target of your affections might be. You know, get a general idea of what you're looking for. Go to those places, whether you need to take a, you know, a class at a local community college or a dance class or hang out at the library or a coffee shop or something like that. If you're just needing sex, I think that's good advice. 
Well, the one thing I like that the pickup artists say, or one of the things that I like, because they do have some things that I think are useful, but one of the things that I really like that they say is that if you want to, if you want to get a girlfriend, you should just talk to as many women as you can. Yep. Just everywhere you go, talk to, to women. To get comfortable with and, the ex. Right, and and invite them the, to coffee. Well, that's the thing is when you talk to them, you realize that they're not scary and they're not alien creatures. They're just people just Indeed. like you. And Indeed. then they're, they don't have power over you anymore. They're just people and you can talk to them. So, Brian, if you, I'm not saying that if you want to get laid. I'm saying if you, you know, for whatever reason you want to meet people, you need to be where those folks are. What, what, what? Why, why is that advice not uh, seen? Well, this goes to an earlier point, is that, okay, if you're just looking, if you're wanting companionship, okay, someone to talk to, blah, blah, blah. Now, I mean, granted, if you're looking to make a family, of course, you know, and you're looking to produce your own progeny, you can only do that with another woman. But uh, my point is that if you're just looking for companionship, why can't, why do you have to have a woman? Why can't it be a guy? Now, well, companionship's a code word. <laughs> well, but that's my point is that is this is the thing Why is that when guys are going after a woman, okay, she, we're animals and we're going to detect really, really fast when one another is being treated like a piece of meat. Men know it, women know it. Okay, <laughs> that's my point. Now, if you're looking for companionship, my advice to you is to do what you always do. And if a woman happens to appear at one of those points, there's your sign. I disagree. Um, you've got to be out there and talking to folks and the, um, you know, for whatever reason. And the fact is, I, I always made my intentions pretty clear, pretty quick. Um, you know, they, there shouldn't be any illusions, to, uh, you know, yeah, in but, my mind. But you're not a nice guy. <laughs> the, 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 these, these are, well, you know what I mean? I mean in air quotes. Mark okay. is not the a nice guy. guy. Yeah. That's the quote of the night. I think that, uh, you know, I'm the nicest of guys because I put it right out there what's up. Exactly. But these yeah. nice guys are putting up an act saying, oh, yeah, yeah I care so much this about is the, you. The I, worst idea in the world. Right. Stop putting up acts. <laughs> if, you know, be genuine in whatever it is that you need to be genuine exactly to. and it, it it works let's uh let's go to willie calling in from texas willie you're on free talk live what's on your mind this is ray ray yeah i'm barely hearing you ray wait hold on a second let me change it over one second can i what I, <laughs> what exactly is happening go ahead okay what I'm calling in is about the uh, the double standard that exists with police and judges and the uh, DA and the uh, county attorney that exists down here in Austin, Texas. No, it's not just in Austin. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just had a case where we have it on video, the all three agencies committing felonies, committing uh, violating my constitutional rights all over the place. There was eight constitutional rights violated. And they said you counted about 120 felonies that we uh, filed on. And, uh, of course, the DA isn't going to do anything. They saw the video. They said, oh, we don't see anything. You know, no, 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 you can't tell the criminals, put the criminals in jail. Indeed. But anyway, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Indeed. Uh, the, the fact is, is that exactly. if you're looking for the state to, you know, bring charges against the state, you're rarely going to be happy with that uh, result. Exactly. Well, I'm going through all of this and finding out just how corrupt everything is. So, uh, man, you know, it's on video. You, it's, it's it's very blatant on video. What kinds of things are we talking this, about, see. allegedly? Uh, well, first off, um, they illegally arrested me, illegally assaulted me, and then uh, illegally uh, kidnapped me and held me for several days without probable cause. And they even admit this. On video, they admit this. Uh, as soon as the DA found out about this, they immediately they immediately dropped charges, okay, because they knew that they were wrong. But yet, they're saying, uh, well, we don't see anything in the video that, uh, you know, says anything. Do you have but an attorney? I mean, we're not, oh, this, this is uh, not I legal do. advice or anything, but maybe you could I sue do. them? Oh, uh, oh, yeah, we are. We're, so there's a criminal. There's a criminal case, and there's a civil case. There is a criminal case, a criminal, or you wish there was a criminal case. No, there is a criminal case. All right. And it, it went all the way to a grand jury. Okay. But in the grand jury, the uh, you know they have control of the grand jury. They sure do. You know they tell they instruct the grand jury. What I think it's amazing is. you got it to a grand jury. And you're not even allowed. You're not even allowed to go and watch or or see anything. Nope. You have to trust that, that they actually had a 
grand jury, you have to trust that, that you know, their word that they actually had a court hearing. You yeah. Know, it's all up to that. Yeah. And it's just, it's just on, you go on faith and it's just like, this is a messed up system that you don't even get to be in your own court, you know, on stuff like this. So they come back with a no bill, which means they're not going to hold these cops accountable for anything they did, even though they did all these things on paper and in the film. They aggravated and assaulted me. Yep. They aggravated you know, they're, me. They have over and over again, uh, police don't get charges brought up against them. The worst things that they look at in m- many cases are simply you know, having, uh, being fired. That's the worst case scenario. And most of the time that doesn't happen either. You know, the best case scenario here is, is that you, you know, bring some kind of civil case, you win in civil court and you feel at the end of it, like I, you know, the amount of time and energy I put into this wasn't worth it. And this is, it happens over and over again. It's really hard to use the government system against the government. It happens, and God bless the people and, and who manage to pull it off because they, they do this, some, you know. This is my point. This is my point about the whole double standard that exists. Yep. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be that way. They need. They need to get somebody that is not the district attorney. That is not. That has nothing to do with what goes on here. They need to get somebody from out of town that has no quarrel with either side. That is going to be. You know, uh, how do you say a um, mediator? Yeah, I love the idea. I just, I, I find it unlikely that uh, power is going to somehow not gravitate towards power. It's uh, happened so far in every instance of the iteration of a state. I think that the best, uh, the best solution is to bring competition into the uh, the marketplace, where we can have competition in judges, um, justice. We can have, um, you'll you'll see well, competition the- grow. Look at the guy, Larry Jackson Jr., that they shot in the back of the head, and yet nothing's happened to this guy. He's going to get away with it. If anything, he may get uh, probation for a year or whatever. But this guy shot a guy in the back of the head, and nothing happens to him. What? I, which which instance is this, Larry Jackson Jr.? What? Yeah, Larry Jackson Jr. was the kid that was at the bank at the wrong time and got shot in the back of the head by a detective. Yeah. And there was no cause, there was no probable cause for any of the stuff the detective did. You know? It's a sad situation. It's terrible. I, it's hard to tell what you can do about it sometimes. Yep. Willie, thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Uh, let us know how things go. Well, I just... I just Whoop, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to go. 855-450. Free. Free Talk Live. What if humans found a habitable planet, set up housekeeping, and then got left alone by Earth and its big government? Well, that happened in Freehold, Michael Z. Williamson's seminal work. Now available for the first time in a signed, limited hardback edition. Other books in this series are also available in paperback. I cannot recommend a modern fiction work more highly than Freehold. Earth might have left Freehold alone, but it doesn't stay that way. It's war. Get your copy right now at all major booksellers and shop.freetalklive.com. This Tuesday, it's the premiere of NBC's new medical drama, The Night Shift. He seems an army ranger, battlefield doc. He's a hero, driven to save everyone but himself. I keep having these dreams. I keep reliving that moment. Let me help you. But how can she heal the man who broke her heart? I can't stop thinking about you. The Night Shift premieres Tuesday at 10, 9 central, after the premiere of America's Got Talent on NBC. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. 
You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, May 23rd, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,289, silver opened at $19.32, and Bitcoin is trading at $546.09. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Bitmain Technology, creators of the Antminer S1 180 Gigahash Bitcoin Miner. No pre-order, ships on time. Sometimes it's early. Buy yours today at bitmaintech.com or call them up at 844-BITMAIN. That's 844-248-6246. And support comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication, along with posters and promotions materials. Mention promo code LIBERTY, and when you order 10 or more posters, you get 10 free. Online, affordablesound.com, or give them a call at 512-459-5253. In the news, nearly every phone call in Afghanistan, domestic and international, is being recorded by the NSA. That's revealed by WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange, who decided to name Afghanistan as the country that other media outlets had previously referred to only as Country X. According to Russia Today, the redaction of the name had come at the request of the U.S. government. The U.S. House of Representatives has voted 303 to 221 to pass a bill designed to end the NSA's bulk data collection of domestic phone records. The USA Freedom Act aims to reform the NSA in response to revelations by former NSA contractor Edward Snowden. Under the new bill, the NSA would have to limit its data collection to specific terms. However, critics worry that the bill has been watered down. Civil liberty and privacy advocates fear that last-minute changes to the bill's language will allow the NSA to continue to collect Americans' information. On Tuesday, the Obama administration announced the release of classified memos dealing with the targeted drone assassination of American citizen Anwar al awlaki Solicitor General Donald V. Verrill Jr. decided not to appeal a recent court decision requiring the release of the documents under the Freedom of Information Act. The memos, written by Harvard Law Professor David J. Barron, will be reviewed and redacted before being opened to the public. The lawsuit was brought forth by the New York Times and the American Civil Liberties Union. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Voice and Exit, maximizing human flourishing through radical innovation. Tickets on sale now. Get 10% off with promo code FREEDOM, June 21st at Austin Music Hall. Get yours at voiceandexit.com. And support comes from Accountable Authority, now offering a public database of police abuse and misconduct. Take action and join for free to gain community support and protection. Online at accountableauthority.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, May 23rd, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. As public resistance grows, Ireland's Health Review Board has decided to launch a review of water fluoridation. The Health Review Board will examine the latest national and international studies before deciding the safety and effectiveness of the practice. Ireland's expert body on fluorides and health warns that ending fluoridation would lead to serious health consequences. Ireland has seen a surge in anti-fluoride campaigns around the country particularly the Fluoride Freetown movement, which has been successful in converting businesses to fluoride-free status by offering reverse osmosis-filtered water. Following a botched Oklahoma execution in April and the debate raging over the use of lethal injection drugs that played a role in the incident, the state of Tennessee has decided on an alternative, bring back the electric chair. CNN reports that Governor Bill Haslam signed the measure into law Thursday. Currently, eight states allow the use of electrocution for executions, but only if that method is requested by the condemned inmate. Tennessee becomes the first state to make the electric chair mandatory when lethal injection drugs are not available. On Tuesday, a federal judge overturned a 1996 Pennsylvania state law that defined marriage as a union between a man and a woman. Judge John Jones III declared it was time to dump such laws into the ash heap of history. 21 Pennsylvanians launched a lawsuit against the state for the right to marry in the state or have out-of-state marriages recognized. As a wave of judges strike down bans on gay marriages, appeals in at least eight other states are underway. The cases are expected to reach the Supreme Court sometime in the near future. Support for Liberty Beat comes from My Magic Mud, all-natural teeth whitener. Go to MyMagicMud.com to hear a short interview with Dr. Griffin Cole. That's MyMagicMud.com. And support comes from Brave New Books, online at bravenewbookstore.com.
This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, May 23rd, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Five Hour Energy CEO Manoj Bhargava claimed this week that the 13 deaths associated with his product were just collateral damage in his company's ongoing war against that 230 feeling. Quote, we honor the sacrifice of all those who have fallen. I wish we could live in a world where you could get a spike of energy and no crash and not die. But that's not the world we live in. Passionate supporters have flooded social media, demonstrating the terrifying costs of midday drowsiness and fatigue, with consumers saying that when it comes to to extra alertness in the mid-afternoon, they are willing to pay any price. As the wife of a five-hour energy drinker, we've had to sacrifice a lot in the name of long-lasting bursts of energy that carry you out of the workday and into the evening. We knew the risks going in. Argava says his company has no plans to stop until the 2.30 feeling is completely wiped off the map, at which point they will turn their attention to that 3.30 feeling, 4.30 feeling, and people with a case of the Mondays. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Final hour of the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Brian. And Stephanie. You can call in about whatever is on your mind. That really is what we do here on Free Talk Live. We make it available to you to get on a nationally syndicated radio program on dozens of radio stations. Talk about whatever's on your mind. I mean, if you've got an issue that's, uh, that's gnawing at you, like to hear about it now we're certainly going to talk to you about that issue it's free talk live not free get on a soapbox and preach talk live but (laughs) some try indeed indeed we'd love to uh, oh come on we're not preaching from a soapbox (laughs) we certainly do that's no no doubt about it double standard here look the microphone even says it says on its soapbox it's amazing Uh, you can (laughs) (laughs) but the thing about free talk live is you don't feel like you got enough time no problem There's always tomorrow, 7 to 10 Eastern Time, seven days a week for years here on Free Talk Live. So we've been talking about this uh, this situation um, with uh, Elliot Rogers. Elliot Rogers, and I think I feel like I've sort of wrapped it up a bit. But um, uh, you know, you can call in at eight fifty five four fifty free about anything you want, including the Elliot Rogers situation. But um, Stephanie, we had another topic that I uh, wanted to get to. Yeah, I mean, just to preface this, I don't want to um, get crap because I feel like people might say, oh, we're talking about all these feminist issues tonight. But I mean, I feminist just issues. Well, this I, uh, I love talking about feminist issues because I am not fond of feminism. So, uh, yeah, I well, you, that. you know, real quick, I want to I want to make something like clear on that. Why would anyone have if the word feminism did not include state action? Did not include force of the gun. Would anyone have a problem with feminism? Like, well, I think would, feminism they, tends to involve that, but uh, I, I, I hear there's a faction of them that did, it doesn't. Yeah. Um, if I don't know, I don't know what people mean necessarily when they say it. I've heard the term used a great deal. What I see as feminism may not be the same thing as somebody else sees, but uh, what you know, I'm I'm not overly impressed what I what if, what I've seen with a f- modern th- feminist thought. Yeah, I I can understand that. I do think, you know, we're talking about semantics and the importance of words. I mean, I think that's part of the problem is just that when everybody hears feminism, they hear two things. They hear the word feminine, and so they think instantaneously that it's against males, uh, which I'm not exactly sure why that is. Because, you know, just because you're pro-child, which many in the liberty movement are, doesn't mean you're against old people. Uh, And equally, you know, then they, they, they instantly wrap up state action inside of that. And that really blows my mind because a lot of it's... You know, feminism's rich history is anarchist. It's straight up anarchist. It's, in fact, one of our advertisers, Shiny Badges, uh, they offer a flag that is anarch, anarcha feminist. You know, and so I, maybe that has, maybe that word has to get tossed in front of it all the time. We always have to say anarcha feminist. I don't know. So anyway, sorry, Stephanie, go ahead. <laughs> well, this is one of those issues that we're just. I said that because this is this issue that we're just about to talk about. This is about an Egyptian doctor who is going to be the first doctor to go on trial for a girl that he did a female, sometimes called female circumcision, sometimes called female genital mutilation, depending on who you ask. Uh, 
and the girl died. And this doctor is going Oftentimes to be... Oftentimes they... So different places do this differently. This is... Uh, female circumcision is entirely different than male circumcision. Um, not to say that... I, I guess it's a different of degrees, right? Yeah, um, I think... I mean, I think you could rightly call any type of removal of pe- parts of people's genitalia that they were born with mutilation. If, That's kind of an inflammatory word, I realize, but I don't like the concept whether it's no matter who's type of body it's on. So know. I have a little boy. I decided that uh, I'm going to deliver him on his 18th birthday intact. He can do what he wants at that point. Um, you know, I mean, if he if he at 16 years old wants to get a tattoo or an ear piercing, we can talk about it. Um, as far as I'm concerned, he's, you know, most societies call you an adult at 12. And we can talk about it. Um, I, I'm going to have, I'm, I'm not for it today, but we can talk about it. Um, but I wouldn't pierce his ear or you know clip parts what other what parts do you think it's okay to clip off i'm you know i'm not for it yeah and i mean most of the justifications are just cultural you know if you if you listen to the arguments for female genital mutilation in some of the places where it's done they say that girls can't enjoy like marriage without it and that um there was a doc there was they won't get married (laughs) yeah there was a there was a doctor that was interviewed in this article that said uh what did he say something like oh it it gives a girl more dignity to remove her clitoris said dr ahmed al (laughs) Mashadi, who stressed that he had never carried out the operation but claimed it was necessary to cleanse the woman of a dirty body part he said if your nails are dirty don't you cut them that statement just gives me chills i mean but that's what Certain, that's what some people believe. It's cultural, right? And and some people believe that about foreskins, too, uh, on males, that they believe that they're dirty or they can't be cleaned or something like that. And I I think there's really good evidence that that's a total myth. Well, little boys die from um, infections. Cultural. I mean, it, it, it happens. They You know, people die from circumcision. Yes. Not too often, but it happens. And It happens more. As I understand it, there are more deaths that from circumcision-related complications than there are from like uh, urinary tract infections and that could have been prevented. I don't know, you know, I don't know why it goes on. There are very few, uh, you know, boys that are going to end up with this. Um, I can't remember what the, the terminology is. for Phimosis. The, phimosis? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's, phimosis that's not is when the foreskin doesn't it's not uh, right. retract. Yeah. So they, you know, they, it causes problems. Yeah. You can do plastic surgery for that or, you know, a circumcision later, whatever, you know. Whatever. Supposedly, there are ways to stretch it out without doing a circumcision because the circumcision is the surgery to correct it. But supposedly, some people say that, you know, you can, there are non surgical ways to treat that. If, I would probably be looking at those if that was yeah. a circumstance I had to yeah. deal with. <laughs> but I know that this female circumcision, in some cases, is done on baby girls. In other cases, it's done on basically tweens young young women yeah well this girl that died that's um the cause the impetus for this trial is 13 or was 13 and uh let me read you the article here this is from the guardian um a doctor is is about to stand trial in egypt on charges of female genital mutilation on thursday the first case of its kind in a country where fgm is illegal but widely accepted um Activists warned this week that the landmark case was just one small step towards eradicating the practice as villagers openly promised to uphold the tradition, and a local police chief said it was near impossible to stamp it out. Uh, Rosalind Faddle, a doctor in the Nile Delta village, is accused of killing 13-year-old schoolgirl Sohar Albata in a Albata, uh, excuse me, in a botched FGM operation last June. Sohar's father Mohammed al Bata'a will also be charged with complicity in her death. Fadl denies the charges and claims Sohar died due to an allergic reaction to penicillin she took during a procedure to remove genital warts. Now, why do, if she did in fact have genital warts, why does a 13 year old girl have genital warts? That to me says sexual abuse. Well, it says to me that uh, they're probably lying about the genital Or maybe <laughs> he's lying about that to cover his butt. But. Yeah, that would be my um, supposition in that circumstance. But, you know, maybe maybe she is being sexually abused. Here's what the doctor had to say about that. What circumcision? There was no circumcision, Fadl shouted on Tuesday evening, sitting outside his home where Sohar died last summer. It's all made up by these dogs' rights people. And he's referring, I guess, in, in maybe this got lost in the translation, but in parentheses it says human rights activists he's calling human rights activists dogs rights people okay i don't know what that means to him but uh, all right yeah so, uh in the next village 
sorry. I, I just wonder culturally if, if, for instance, I'm trying to, to draw a parallel here. If somebody decided that we needed to cut all young girls' hair short, like boys, in order to keep them similar or something like that, um, you know, th- it would feel like a very top-down mm-hmm. um, sort of mandate. I, I I imagine that's what it's like. What, what it feels like for these people. This is their cultural thing. I disagree with it vociferously. And anybody, as far as I'm concerned, an individual should be able to make a choice as to what parts get clipped off on them. Um, and if that's what they want to do, that's their business. And I don't think that you can, you know. But I, I don't think I just I feel this is wrong to do. But I can see why these people are reacting at the same time. Really, I mean, I just think that there's. You can take tolerance too far. You know what I mean? Like when you say, well, it's perfectly fine to cut these body parts off where a lot of girls die because it's their culture. No, it's not. It's it's disrupting the integrity of a human being's body, and that's not okay. How do you stop it? Because all yeah. you can do is, well, is force your stuff how top do you, down. Right. Oh, how do you stop it? It's probably got to be a cultural change. I don't know if the trial's going to work. How do you stop at 855-450-FREE? Summer is almost here, which means it's time to get out and play. And at the Guitar Center Memorial Day Sale, you'll find some of our lowest prices of the year on the best gear throughout the store. And with deals like your choice of two guitar stands or wall hooks for 10 bucks, or two pairs of Vader drumsticks for 5 bucks, or three sets of Ernie Ball electric guitar strings for 10 bucks, the only question is, where will you play? Guitar Center's Memorial Day Sale, now through Monday, in-store and online. This Tuesday, it's the premiere of NBC's new medical drama, The Night Shift. TC was an army ranger, battlefield doc. He's a hero, driven to save everyone but himself. I keep having these dreams. I keep reliving that moment. Let me help you. But how can she heal the man who broke her heart? I can't stop thinking about you. The Night Shift premieres Tuesday at 10, 9 central after the premiere of America's Got Talent on NBC. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done. Get a great deal. And a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. 
Have you ever wanted to help a hardworking person get their business off the ground? Then join me in enjoying some BuzzBox coffee. Let's make a difference one cup at a time. Join us in helping people buy their own coffee farms through at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Free Talk Live coffee drinkers will truly change lives forever. To get the best coffee you've ever tasted, it's organic, shade-grown, and top 1% Arabica grade. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. The first pound's free, just cover shipping. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can call in, talk about whatever is on your mind on the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Brian. And Stephanie. 855-450-3733. Go get a free pound of coffee from coffee.freetalklive.com. It's BuzzBox Coffee, and it's delicious, shade-grown, 100% organic, top 1% grade Arabica coffee. Um, so this is the very best of the best coffee. And what's great about BuzzBox Coffee is, is that not only is it delicious coffee and priced commensurately, um, if you... you Go to coffee.freetalklive.com, claim your free pound. You'll sign up for a subscription. You can cancel that subscription at any time. All you do is pay for the shipping on your free pound, and uh, it'll be delivered to you. Uh, but if you continue to get coffee there, it'll be delivered on a regular basis. You can set the time frame. You can change up the types of coffee that you get. Try all different types. It's great stuff. But what's great about it is they allow us to offer microloans to people around the world that need a hand up. There's families who, I don't know, maybe they need fishing poles. Maybe they need a new fishing net. Maybe they need uh, a plow. I don't know what it is that they need, but they do, and they need a loan to get it. And BuzzBox allows us, for every 10 people who order their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, allows us to offer another microloan to another family that we can help out around the world. It Again, it's coffee.freetalklive.com. Dot com. We'll get back to this article about the uh, female genital mutilation um, trial that's going on in Egypt. Egypt, yeah. Um, after we get to Alex in Louisiana. Alex, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey, uh, I already started with the other guy. I thought he had me on the air. Um, I just had a question <laughs> for you. Start all today. over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I follow y'all on Facebook. I don't. I don't listen in much. Mostly, I I don't listen in live. I follow the clips afterwards. And oh, stuff I appreciate you calling upload. in. Yeah. Um. I have I have a, a a small question. About two years ago, I had a run in with the an unscrupulous police officer in Eunice, Louisiana. All right. And uh, I got arrested. I got arrested on Christmas Eve. They charged oh. me with four different charges, none of which I did. I was currently attending college at my school. I had my vehicle towed, my animals brought to a pound. My friend was taken to the hospital for suicidal thoughts. And despite all this, they they uh, they didn't like that I was using my First Amendment in the uh, jail, nor that I was filming them at the time. Mm. And okay. uh, they, shaved, they shaved my head. All they, right. I had long hair at the time, and uh, they shaved my head. Mm. They said it was for sanitary Lice. reasons and they no no there was nothing there right i'm saying with, right. sanitary right they have yeah. to they, they're saying they're shaving it in just as a preemptive measure in case you may have lice exactly and uh they they didn't do it until i was talking back to him and he said yep. i'd regret it if i said another word oh and my God. i said another word because that's the type of person i am yep and wow. uh he he pushed me back into the uh cell with my hair all over me and he made me eat with the supposedly unsanitary hair all over me. Mm. And oh, that's uh, horrible. when I got out on Christmas morning, my family kind of uh, my family kind of blamed me a little bit. They were like, "Oh, you shouldn't have flicked, flicked him the bird when you were walking away. He never would have arrested you, and this and that." I'm like, "That's that, that's free speech, you know." It, well, and it's he I arrested right. you. It's not your fault. Like well, he, it's unwise, but at uh, at the same time, a professional law enforcement officer will. You know, it's not the, it's their job to enforce the law and get the bad guys, not to get people that make them angry. I, I agree. It was very unwise, and I can completely agree at this point. However, at the same time, uh, I have to say I'm glad I did it. I'm glad it happened, and I have to, in some weird way, thank that officer for waking me up. Uh, 
because afterwards I started, you know, I started when I uploaded my video online, I was pulled into the community. People took me in very fast. Um, Antonio Bueller, one of them, a lot of people took me in and uh, allowed me to form my Eunice chapter. I eventually got. What's a Eunice chapter? Judge. Eunice chapter of what? Uh, Peaceful Streets Project. I gotcha. Oh. Okay. And uh, I eventually got. I, I took it all the way to court. I didn't take a plea agreement. Uh, I took it all the way to court. I showed the video to the judge of what happened. They all took the stand and perjured themselves. She said she could not verify that my video was accurate. And she went ahead and gave me probation. And as a stipulation to my probation, how I How could a video... That town. <laughs> I'm sorry. How could yeah, a video exactly. lie? Like, that doesn't make a lot it, of sense. This is why they don't allow videos, I, video cameras in courtrooms, because mm-hmm. people would be able to see her saying, yeah. I couldn't verify this video was true. Yeah. And my, my girlfriend even had her phone taken away from her in the courtroom yep. because she thought she was videoing it. <laughs> it was Thieves, ridiculous. liars, skullduggery. And, it and, all and, takes place in the dark. To to be fair there and to play devil's advocate, there is also the issue of their recording devices being messed with. But Oh yeah. That's neither here nor there. That's just their excuse. But what I'm calling about today is over the past two years I've I've sold my Dodge Charger to get me an R V. Keep in mind I am nineteen going on twenty. Uh I sold an O six Dodge Charger for an eighty five R V and I'm trying to make it self sustained right now. Oh, that sounds and, interesting. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm have my. I guess to you know wrap it up. I just wanted to give that background and everything that happened to me and where I'm, my mind is kind of at right now. I'm having troubles, even though I'm very pro capitalism. I'm having trouble, you know, making myself go out and find a job because I feel like I'd be legitimizing their system, you know, and paying taxes for wars and things I don't agree with. Well. I, first of all, I'd like to say I'm I'm really sorry to hear about what happened to you. It sounds like you got a bad, you know, bad treatment. You got screwed over by the system and just wanted to give you some empathy, I guess, for that. Sorry. Sorry to hear about it. And, uh, you know, I, I can understand that feeling of like, I don't want to contribute to this system, especially if part of this system it really screwed over a large part of my life and interfered with um, my activities for such a long time and abused me. And, um, you know, there are ways that you can um, earn money. And if you're, if you've decreased your living expenses to the point where you're able to live in an RV and uh, maybe you can find other ways, like if you worked in a, uh, a restaurant, you could get food from there and stuff like that. Like there's creative ways to get food and decrease your living expenses. And you may not even have to, get that creative. But if you make under a certain amount of money per year, you can legally not owe any taxes. It's right, called the don't uh, owe nothing method. D-O-N. This is, Google is not it. Uh, legal advice, but um, I, I've heard that that's no, the No, it case. is. It's completely legal. Like if you, if your numbers. But it's not legal at, advice. No, right. it's not legal advice. But if I'm just <laughs> saying, legal, yeah. there's a great um, author called David Gross, and he's written extensively about this, which has been used by war protesters for many, many years. The don't owe nothing method. It's been used by American Indian activists who didn't want to support the U.S. government in any way. It's been used by Vietnam War protesters all the way up through today. So I would say look into the don't don't owe nothing method and look up David Gross and you might find some helpful stuff. But is it are there yeah, any other but, issues besides just paying taxes or is it like you don't want to be part of the system at all? <laughs> at, at, at all. Well, I, I'm an anarcho-capitalist. Have your own, is, do you I, not want to earn money or do you just not want to be part of the system? No. Um... Money in terms of Federal Reserve notes, not really, but I, I guess that's kind of a that's a long ways away before you know more people start accepting other forms of currency. Alex, that's I'd, why, I'd recommend all, you start your own business and uh, figure out how to do it from there. That's uh, probably the jumping off point. Use uh, Bitcoin. Yep, and thanks for the call. Yeah, appreciate it. Love Good to hear luck. how things uh, uh, transpire. Eight fifty five four fifty free free talk live. Do you owe the IRS money that you can't pay? Are tax liens and levies ruining your life? Are you tired of being afraid just to go to the mailbox? If this describes you, then Dan Pilla can help. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla, and I've been solving tax problems for more than 30 years. In fact, I wrote the book that made it possible to negotiate settlements with the IRS, and I've helped thousands of people do exactly that. 
Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. New changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever before eliminate their debts once and for all. There's no need for you to suffer another day with IRS debt. Call 800-346-6829. I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. To me, an activist's calling is to actively work to advance a cause. The cause for which I work is personal freedom. I believe my life is best when I engage in voluntary interactions and self-government. I reject the idea that anyone else has a higher claim to my life or my body than I do. I see people who call themselves the government as a threat to my personal freedom. I realize you may feel differently, but my relationship with the people who call themselves the government is completely involuntary. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Do you ever say, I could care less, when you really mean the opposite? You mean to say, I couldn't care less. It's a common mistake. You are judged by how you speak, especially if you're looking for work with so many more applicants than openings now. But even if you're not, avoiding common misstatements will help you make the most of the dozens of conversations and transactions that crowd your daily routine. So whatever you say, don't say whatever as a single word sentence. It's the most annoying expression in the American English language, according to a recent poll. And avoid cliches like the plague. Just kidding. But seriously, at the end of the day, you'll want to avoid this scenario, sounding like everyone else. For more tips, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can give us a call, talk about whatever's on your mind here on the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Brian. And Stephanie. Um, Dodd-Frank, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, they're killing the mortgage industry. But the Mortgage Minute guy, Roger Schlesinger, has found some uh, ways around these rules and organizations. Private loan sellers are competing directly against the U.S. government, and uh, things look pretty good. Stated income loans are back, um, so you state your income, truthfully, obviously, and you get a loan. Rates are great. It's never been uh, easier to get a loan. Frankly, these uh, these stated income loans were not at fault when it came to the uh, the, the mortgage crisis uh, from a few years back. It, it really was the legit loans <laughs> that were... Uh, 
you know, that, that were at fault. Go check so them we, out. What Go were ahead. loans based on before if you didn't have to state your income? You'd have to, sh- well, you can still, um, you know, the, most loans are based on um, IRS forms and things like that. Uh, and it's just, honestly, the debt to in- income ratio was pushed upwards and uh, mm. it was the increase in the money supply that uh, caused the, you know, the, the, the boom and bust cycle as usual. Got it. Call the Mortgage Minute Guy at one 288 or go to dot com. one 288 dot com. Whether you need to refinance or get cash out, one 288 Let's go to James calling in from, I, th- I think, Arizona. James, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Yeah, Mark, I was checking out Free Talk Live's Facebook page today. Yes, I happen to see a, a post on there, courtesy of your friend Aaron Clark. I'm not sure who that is, but you know, all right. Kid. You know, the kid, the one that you stunningly asked during his ramblings about me, do you think he's real? I don't well, know that. I think yeah, Ian asked that. I, I, I think you're as real as you could possibly be, Wit. I'm sorry, James. You know, Which one are we going with today? To him and I'll be damned. My I'm friends s- call me Wit. You're not my friend. All right, James. We'll go the with James. Well, I won't say what I want to say. Uh, we'll go with my given name. That's what it is. And by the way, you, Aaron Clark, the kid, by the way, you posed a question to him. And you also mentioned that you, you and Ian were talking about it off the air. Do you think he's real? Yeah, well, and I think you are. For real. Well, Wait. Well, thanks very What would you like to talk that. about, buddy? Don't call me buddy. But I do want to talk freely don't get smart with me. I don't. I, I actually want to make you think a second time. I'd love that. And I Please am do. a libertarian, uh, Mark. And the reason why uh, I'm angry like you or in mean like you put you put a post on showing an angry old man. As yeah, I a, did that. Being represented. Sure me. did. Uh, I I won't call you a tool or a troll like uh, that woman that you're looking at called me once. Uh, but the reason why I'm angry with you, and by the way, thanks to AC. I want to talk – his post on your Facebook page reminded me of some of the stunningly stupid things you have said that I've always wanted to talk to you about. For instance, you tell me to look up the McCullough money memo. Yes. But I digress real quickly. The reason why I'm angry with you and I have such contempt for you is because my old man is buried in Arlington, by the way. All right. Surrounded by a bunch of people that supported the uh, – dropping of an atomic bomb that to, to end the evil empire of Japan. I'm sure campaign. there's plenty of them in there that didn't support it too, but and okay. And let me ask you about the evil not, empire of Japan. Now, let me, wait, uh, well, James, let me ask you about the, um, the evil empire of Japan. What did the evil empire of Japan do that was any different than the empire of Great Britain or uh, France or the United States or Germany or any of these other empires? This is what you, I call immoral equivocation. What you're doing is disgusting. And by the way, Japan, what did they do that was evil? Yeah. You ever heard of the Rape Man King? Yeah. They, they chopped to death people. They 100,000 more people, if not 150,000 more people than the two fat man and little boy incinerated in two days or in the course of three days before they finally said – we're done killing. We're done murdering people. Would you agree but that I, the I, uh, the getting involved empowered uh, Mao Zedong, the United States involvement in I that uh, conflict? That, I believe it was a tragedy. What happened after World War II is that uh, Stalin wasn't summarily executed like Osama bin Laden, and Mao Zedong wasn't summarily executed by a SEAL team. The fact that those two people after World War II. Uh, or, wicked orders and, and willing and willing henchmen murdered like uh, low estimates 30 million, high estimates 150 million of Wait. their fellow uh, human beings. Uh, doesn't nothing that the United States has done in its 207, uh, whatever you how old you want to call it, nothing that the United States has done is in comparison. And any of the evil things the United States of American uh, United Americans did in while under the arms of uh, of the American. Uh, in the Army or the Navy or the Air Force, wasn't systematic. Uh, 
I'd, I'd say that the uh, the system, it, 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 American Indians okay. is systematic. Yeah. Look, look, evil isn't judged by numbers. Evil is judged by actions. And the United States, as I was a personal paid killer for the United States, I will say it is one of the, uh-huh. if not the most evil country to ever have been on the earth. They make Rome look like is. child's that looks, play. That sounds crazy to me compared to uh, to, to Stalin and, and Mao. Oh, I, come on. I mean, at least, st- at least those people right look to the people they killed in the face. Fine. We kill them from two miles away. It's disgusting. If James. there's honor in killing, we Good have none of it. James. That, by the way. Good luck ever talking like that about Mao Tse-Tung on public radio when he ruled China evilly and raped girls every day, by the way. He went to bed with multiple women, and he raped them all. He did that every day for decades. And I'm not going to talk about what Stalin Well, let's see. Rape cases in the United decades. States military are up 50% since 2012. Where's I'm the rape it. cases going I'm on? Rape. Ooh. I'm not it like you. You. Like and what? When I, when I speak about the McCall, I abhor it, and I'd like a rapist to spend the rest of his life in jail, if not executed. Because so then we need to get everything. all those people in the United States military that are supposedly representing the greatest country on God's green earth, which is nonsense, is taken care of. God's green earth. No, <laughs> you're wrong. You're wrong. I did speak in a little bit of hyperbole. I don't want a rapist executed, it, but uh, my passions about rapists are as. Uh, strong as yours, Brian, but uh, the Japanese uh, army did it systematically in Nanking. When they were all trapped inside the walls of Nanking, they raped the chicks and then they chopped them up. Yeah, no, no they, doubt they, they, about they, it. Absolutely. The number of 260,000 people. But for some reason, you've got this, okay. you've got this uh, fixation on Japan, but the fact is the United States okay, did the same thing in the 1880s and 1870s to the Indians. The funny thing, the difference is you called my dad a murderer, and you call me a murderer, and you're calling all his friends murderers. I'm calling myself a murderer, and I'm a veteran. Go over there. Go start it. Brian, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to Mark. Um, Oh, by the way, Mark, uh, thanks again to AC's post. I got to remember the quote. The fact of the matter is the people in the Pentagon deserved it. That's one Mark Edge. So the people in the plane were innocent. The weapon that was used as a weapon, the pe- people that were murdered in the plane that flew into the Pentagon, were your advocate of murder, Mark. That's the hypocrite you guys no, are. No, I believe that people that um, t- take up arms, live by the sword, you. you're going to die by the I sword. I just quoted you. I, and listen to me, and I'm telling you, if you, you live by the sword, it. you will likely die by the sword. You take a much bigger chance and of the that happening. The What's that? They were innocent victims, or they were, or you're advocating murder. Look, if you support an empire, just, sir, do you want to ask me a question? Just ask me a question. If you empire, support, we're not an empire. You call it an empire. Okay. If you support a hegemony empire. that uh, supports kings hegemony, and sheiks in the Middle word. East, then you can expect well, to have consequences really? for those actions. Really? Yes. Why don't we really? An empire why can don't be we, run by an oligarchy, which Princeton has said the United States is an oligarchy that has foreign property, which we do. Hey, Brian, why do we leave Iraq if we're an empire? When we left, <laughs> how much How much did that embassy cost? How many millions of dollars is that embassy? The embassy is the size of a mall, and as I understand it, there are still thousands of uh, U.S. personnel there. Yeah, yeah we didn't empire, leave. We haven't left any country we've ever gone in. We should have. We, how long have we been in South Korea? Now that we're an empire, we took them over, and Japan and... You can go on the radio If you have foreign Japan, lands Germany, and you are run by an oligarchy, which the Princeton University has said the United States is an oligarchy, you are by definition of the dictionary an empire. Oh, right. Yeah, that's right. Princeton yes, it's right. Blah, blah, blah. I'm an oligarch there, and I'm defending an empire. Thanks for the call. 855 450 free, free talk live. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now, 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial. 1-800-967-9495. 
That number again is 1-800-967-9495. Attention, America. Within a little-known government document is devastating information that could cost the United States its most valuable asset. My name is Jeff Opdyke, former reporter for The Wall Street Journal. I've uncovered shocking evidence within the details of document FT-900, revealing the largest cover-up of President Obama's career. This will have a substantial impact on our nation. Millions of Americans will fall into poverty overnight. A recent report from the Treasury Department said an event of this nature has, quote, the potential to be catastrophic. Within a matter of weeks, the way of life for millions of Americans will be destroyed and the standard of living will be like nothing this country has seen in nearly a century. To learn how you can protect yourself and your family from this government attack, visit www.obamasecret1.com. Again, that's www.obamasecret1.com. Free Talk Live. If anybody else wanted to know how to do it, y'all gave them the information, and plus how to get illegal drugs, how to get hand grenades, and I'm, I mean, this is a free country, but I don't, you know, but you but gave out web addresses, uh, Silk something. The you Silk know, Road is a revolutionary website that allows people to buy from the black market in a much safer manner than they currently buy, and I'm all about harm reduction, Bob. I think that uh, reducing oh, this is harm... great for a free country. Let's get everybody on to safer illegal drugs. Do you think anybody did crack oh, so that makes it, after watching so that, our show so that had never done it before? That it, <laughs> that's part so of we, your liberty that because it's okay with a lot of people, let's make sure we have it. Let's keep advertising. No, I think radio. that it is not my right to tell you what is right or wrong to put in your body, and nor is it your business to tell me what is right or wrong to put in my body or what I'm going to do with my uterus. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. I'm not going to give the number because we've uh, our phone lines are loaded here, but uh, this is the final segment of the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live with Mark and Brian and Stephanie. I'll tell you real quick about the AMP program. The AMP program is a program we have that you should join, not because you support Free Talk Live or you want us to make more money or anything like that, but because you believe in the ideas of liberty. If you believe in the ideas of liberty, if you believe in the ideas of liberty, Free Talk Live is probably the most successful uh, system for you, uh, you know, using the least amount of dollars to reach the most people, and our AMP program right now, you're getting your dollars matched. So if you AMP at the base level, five dollars a month, um, it'll be matched to ten dollars, and the first month we'll actually refund you your first month's uh, uh, AMP donation in. Bitcoin. So there's all kinds of reasons to AMP Free Talk Live now at amp.freetalklive.com. Only do it if you want more liberty in your lifetime. Amp.freetalklive.com. Let's go to Tom calling in on the phone lines here, the ProXPN phone lines. Tom, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, how you guys doing? All's well. Hey, sounds good. Uh, I wanted to bring up, I'm sorry, I know you guys probably talked about this before, but I just really wanted your guys' opinions again. Uh, I'm 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 a recover I'm a new libertarian and kind of a recovering Republican. Me too. I was just, I was just yeah. <laughs> I was just, I was just wondering, you know, 
I know it's very, uh, I know it obviously is very utopian, you know, the left, they say, you know, we had government control, everything, you know, centrally planned, we had these real smart guys at the top, they take care of everything, and that's a bunch of bull crap and things like that, I know. <laughs> but I also, I also kind of wondered, uh, on the flip side of the, flip side of the coin, you know, when it comes to, you know, anarchy, wouldn't that kind of also be utopian you know absolutely no government has one your thoughts thoughts on that. first off i believe that anarchism is a philosophy held by um people usually european that wear black and throw molotov cocktails i believe in the ideas of liberty. Hey, i wear black that's one out of three <laughs> you throw You're molotov european. cocktails no okay <laughs> no um, alcohol here no no molotov cocktails. however i understand that people use the term anarchy to describe voluntarism i disagree with it uh, as a matter of fact i'll use sometimes polycentric organization and things like this yeah, that's, that's a semantic. lot easier to say. Yeah, it is a lot easier. I think it's it's grammatically incorrect. That's my opinion. However, let let me tell you, let me convert you the way that I got converted, and I'm not expecting mm-hmm. it in, in a moment here, Tom. But oh, please do. I would love, I would love it. The more yeah. the better. So you know, you and I are in a town. That town's oh, I don't know, a thousand people. And sure. I decide for whatever reason I don't want to participate in whatever program it is. You know, maybe mm-hmm. I don't. Go. I, I, I've got a plow on the front of my truck. I don't want you to plow the streets. Maybe I've got, um, you know, I don't want to send my kid to the public school. Or, you know, you pick right. the myriad of things. Um, I live on a state road. I don't want to pay for your town roads. The myriad of things that, uh, that my, I might not want to participate in. So I say, I'm opting out. No thanks. Are you willing to, yourself, or hire an agent to hold a gun to my head while I get my family, unload my family from my house because you're going to take it from me. Right. And that's really what it comes down to. Ultimately, is a person, one individual, allowed to opt out? I like this whole constitutional republic idea. I kind of think we could make it work. I think that if we just tried hard enough, we could make it work. But, admittedly, it's failed. <laughs> so right. That's cool. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a self, I mean, I don't really consider myself a constitutionalist because that leads towards, you know, the, con- like the Constitution, which is, of course, a great document, but also had the whole, you know, kind of slave and... I, I meant writing a new one. Indian type thing, but yeah. yeah. I got it. But, I, I meant I writing really a new one that doesn't have all that racism in yeah. it. <laughs> you know, I, I, I will right. say that I think, uh, you know, a- anarchism, and I agree that, you know, the ultra-state governmentism or whatever you want to state is whatever you want to call that, both are kind of visions of utopia. But I don't know that that's necessarily a bad thing to have visions of utopia. The problem is, is that government, the evidence against government is not just sinking the ship. It's, it, you know, it's gone straight through the earth as far as the amount of evidence right. weighing it down. So for, you know, for uh, for anarchism to be kind of a utopian dream, I don't think that's that bad of a thing. Like Oscar Wilde said, any map that doesn't have the country utopia on it isn't worth even looking at because humanity is always landing there and then trying again to get better. So, you know, it, right. it's it's not that bad of an, of an idea. I mean, that works. I really appreciate it. Yeah, you know, and if, if as you come up with ideas, I love talking about these uh, these these little minutia of the ideas of liberty. Call in with them. Um, right. Appreciate it. Thanks so much, Tom. Yeah. Oop, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're right on. I, you know, I love the um, the the pithy quote of um, if people are bad, then ba- you don't want bad people to get in charge of the government because that's where they're attracted to. Right. If people are good, then we don't need a government to be in charge of them. And if it's a mixture of bad and good, then the bad people are just going to be in the government. So right. what the hell do we need government for? <laughs> if we have, uh, if we, if you, you know, if people are, are operate by incentives, then the chances are very high that, uh, that the, the people that will be most easily corrupted will get into the highest positions. Let's go to Andy calling in from uh, New York. Andy, you're on free talk live. What's on your mind, sir? Hey, you guys, um, about that, uh, murderer who was throwing around the, uh, alpha male, terminology oh, elliot roger well there's a there's a show i mean the language you guys were reporting him having said it, it really um reminded me of a show that appears maybe three or four hours before your show here on uh the station that i listen to which is the cigar show where cigar dave guys are all, yeah these guys are alpha males and uh he is the the general the general Huh, I've and, never heard uh, this his, show. Oh yeah, I've heard it. Listeners are the lieutenants. And, oh boy! Uh, but they seem to mostly be about of pleasure. Yeah, I, I I don't mean to interrupt Andy, but mostly the show seems to be about liquor and and cigars, though, right? Well, 
I've also heard they they throw that term alpha male around at yeah. least twenty times an hour. Right. Well, who, who doesn't want who would, wants to be a beta male? <laughs> right. And the, the, anybody who disagrees with them is a beta male, and they mock them. And okay. It, it sounded a lot like what this guy says, and I have heard them talk about how uh, you know it used to be great when a man had a wife and a mistress. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's going to go well. Oh boy. Separate. It's it's very misogynistic, and it's it, yeah. It remind I I would be very interested to know if this guy heard this show or where he got this this nonsense from because I mean the twisted guidelines for manliness that I hear on this show are mm. cheating on your wife inhaling smoke drinking <laughs> alcohol eating steak it all supposedly makes you an alpha male and I do love a good who, steak um, me too but, but that the, must make me manly <laughs> the, the problem here is is that uh, you know like anybody can smoke a cigar anybody can drink a good bottle of Merlot anybody can, <laughs> can cheat on their wife can, well, I don't know if anybody can cheat on their wife you have to have a willing yeah, but participant this, but let's not forget that uh, you know the other side of that coin is is don't forget the milkman right like he used to drop by the house every day <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, I mean, well, but this I is the thing. This culture is out it. there, you know, that and yeah, they, those and, ideas are really prevalent. Yeah. And the problem, too, is like we were reading out of that Slate article is that when this occurred, the culture just said, no, you need more of us, not less. And I, boy, I think that's scary. Andy, I um, appreciate the call. Yep. Thanks so much. You know, there are like I hear a lot of people call into Free Talk Live who say that like. Oh, like whenever a social problem happens or a crime, they're like, well, this is because the young boys are being feminized and pussified and they they aren't real men anymore everybody gets a trophy regardless of whether you win and what they really need is more competition to make them more manly and that kind of thing i've certainly heard those things and uh, to some extent i tend to agree with them but there's a disconnect there though because those are the same people who are saying well look the way to solve racism is to just treat everybody the same but then no, my, that woman needs to stay in the house and, and, and cook in the kitchen and all that stuff. It's like, oh, I see. Not everybody gets treated the same. I mean, it, it's there, there's a real disconnect there the way they describe themselves. I've seen um, you know, the, the Internet is rife with the uh, she shouldn't have an opinion. She should be making me a sandwich uh, comments. Oh, yeah. But I wonder what those people mean when they say that. Is it mean that I'm just too lazy to confront whatever the idea is? That happens all the time, right? Like people don't want to confront new ideas, um, and it's easy to use somebody's gender um, in that way. I mean, it's it's a cheap cop out for thinking, but it's not exactly sexism. Yeah, but pickup artistry, I think, is that's saying that there's an entire gender that you have to treat completely differently than you treat men. But then the solution to solving how to deal with racism is to pretend it doesn't exist. But we'll, we'll women pretend don't that act this like different men, exists. But women generally do not act like men. So if they did, then there wouldn't be a reason for pickup artistry because everybody would be doing it in the bathroom stalls. I mean, it would be... Okay. Well, even if that's true, Mark, like the idea behind the the feminization of boys idea is that it's bad. Like f- being feminine is bad. Well, I guess the idea is, is that boys shouldn't be feminine, but girls should. I, I think that people, I think people should be free to act the way they want. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think it's very difficult. Socialization is a, a, a powerful process, and having a child, I can say, well, there's no way. I mean, you you got to socialize in one. You're either socializing towards culture or count towards counterculture. Yeah, but I mean, sometimes it includes uh, being violent, and I don't I don't think socializing a kid to be violent or encourage that is is good. If in the meantime, freetalklive.com and uh, facebook.freetalklive.com to carry on the discussions. It's been Mark with you. And Brian. And Stephanie. Free Talk Live. This. Uh, excuse me, is this where I get a license to start a new business? I wouldn't be hasty. You have to get a mm. license to go out of business, too, you know. Oh, well, look, I've invented this little anti-gravity machine, see? Oh, is that why you're walking two inches above the floor? <laughs> oh, yes, it's it's very comfortable. It saves on shoe leather. Yeah, well, you have to fill out these forms and report to the Human Services Department of Manpower Orientation and register with the Fair Employment Practice Commission, just the Wage wanna... and Hour Division of the Employment Standards Administration, the State Sales and Income Tax Division, the Internal Revenue Service, look, and the I Social Security Administration li- of the Department of Health, Education, and Welfare. And, of course, OSHA. OSHA? I thought that was a little town in Wisconsin. You'll find out. Say, floating around like that could be dangerous. Have you checked with the Consumer Product Safety Commission? Well, not yet. Come to think of it, you actually are flying, aren't you? Look, you need to go over to the Federal Aviation Administration and the Transportation... It's very hard to get anything done these days if you're in business. But Free Enterprise built this country. Think what could happen if we don't keep it free. A public service of this station and the Center for the Defense of Free Enterprise, Bellevue, Washington. We just can't have people floating about unregulated, you know.
There's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Liberty Conspiracy is next, after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN. Radio VR. Good morning and welcome to Radio VR. We're broadcasting live from Washington, D.C. and around the world on voiceofrussia.com slash U.S. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Today is Friday, May 23rd, 2014. Radio VR News. President Obama is expected to announce a cabinet shuffle today. He plans to select an Hispanic leader whose political star is on the rise, plus he gets political experience beyond local politics. Jackie Quinn has a preview. The White House says President Obama will tap San Antonio Mayor Julian Castro to become the next housing secretary. The slot will open up as the president taps current HUD Secretary Sean Donovan to run his budget office. The 39-year-old Castro, a three-term mayor, has been mentioned as a possible vice presidential candidate for 2016. If confirmed, he and Labor Secretary Thomas Perez would be the highest-ranking Hispanic officials in the administration. Jackie Quinn, Washington. The list of contenders to host the next GOP presidential convention has been narrowed, but there's some concern in the party about the location. Las Vegas. Correspondent Mike Gracia tells us why. Las Vegas and Cincinnati are out of the running to host the Republican Party's 2016 presidential nominating convention. Las Vegas organizers dropped their bid, saying they faced scheduling and convention space problems. Cincinnati organizers had arena issues. That leaves Dallas, Denver, Cleveland, and Kansas City, Missouri still in the running. Republican National Committee officials approved the four remaining contenders Thursday, and they're expected to narrow the field by this summer. Mike Gracia, Washington. The Veterans Administration scandal continues to grow with even more calls.